as the president taps current HUD Secretary Sean Donovan to run his budget office. The 39-year-old Castro, a three-term mayor, has been mentioned as a possible vice presidential candidate for 2016. If confirmed, he and Labor Secretary Thomas Perez would be the highest-ranking Hispanic officials in the administration. Jackie Quinn, Washington. The list of contenders to host the next GOP presidential convention has been narrowed, but there's some concern in the party about the location. Las Vegas. Correspondent Mike Gracia tells us why. Las Vegas and Cincinnati are out of the running to host the Republican Party's 2016 presidential nominating convention. Las Vegas organizers dropped their bid, saying they faced scheduling and convention space problems. Cincinnati organizers had arena issues. That leaves Dallas, Denver, Cleveland, and Kansas City, Missouri still in the running. Republican National Committee officials approved the four remaining contenders Thursday, and they're expected to narrow the field by this summer. Mike Gracia, Washington. The Veterans Administration scandal continues to grow with even more calls for the head of the VA to step aside and let someone else take over the embattled department. Jerry Bolander has the details. The number three House Republican, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, says Secretary Eric Shinseki should step aside, calling the VA crisis a national embarrassment. Shinseki told reporters here at the Capitol he plans to stay on the job. Even as Speaker John Boehner says, he's moving closer to calling for Shinseki to step down. This is awful stuff, and somebody ought to be held accountable for it. Meanwhile, there's a move in the Senate to give the VA secretary greater authority to remove officials who don't do their jobs. It's already been approved by the House. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. An older method of execution is being discussed in Tennessee as a replacement for the supply of lethal injection drugs, which remains unknown to the public. Eric Shelzig explains. The legislature has passed laws to make the supply or the ingredients even of lethal injections secret, and no death penalty has reached a crucial point to which we know whether the state has it or not. That's one of the areas that the critics of the law have raised in that how would the state prove that they really couldn't get their hands on these drugs. O.J. Simpson, the disgraced former football star who was acquitted of killing his wife almost 20 years ago, is trying to get out of a Nevada prison by going to the Nevada Supreme Court with a supersized appeal of his 2007 armed robbery conviction. Ken Ritter has the details. The court hasn't accepted it because it's a little bit too long. The lawyers had a 14,000 word limit and submitted just under 20,000 words. Simpson attorney Patricia Palm tells us that it ran long because she and lawyers Ozzy Fumo and Tom Pataro needed space to respond in detail to the judge's denial ruling last November. And Boko Haram, the Nigerian terrorist group responsible for kidnapping 300 Nigerian schoolgirls last month, is now facing sanctions from the United Nations. Warren Levinson has more. The United States says the U.N. Security Council has added Boko Haram to its list of al-Qaeda-linked organizations. That subjects the terror group, which has kidnapped 276 schoolgirls in Nigeria, to a range of U.N. sanctions. Boko Haram, whose name means Western education is sinful, has targeted mosques, churches, and government buildings. Its five-year campaign against the Nigerian government has claimed thousands of lives, including 1,500 this year. 62 groups and 213 individuals on the list are subject to travel bans, assets, freezes and an arms embargo. Warren Levinson, New York. And the man who once led America's armed forces as defense secretary is now the new president of the Boy Scouts of America. Tim McGuire reports on Bob Gates' new job. Robert Gates headed the Pentagon for both President George W. Bush and President Obama. As president of the Boy Scouts of America, he takes over an organization that has seen a decline in membership. Last year, the National Council voted to allow openly gay boys to belong while continuing to exclude openly gay adult leaders. Some conservative groups have left scouting, but the expulsion of a gay Seattle area scoutmaster has gay rights groups urging up. So, Shelby, let's start with you. You say that our bogs and marshes should actually be paved over. That's right. Absolutely, Brooke. These things are nothing but dead body dumping pits that make life easy for murderers. And it's disgusting to me that sickos like Mr. Popkin actually want to protect these things. All right, well, Mr. Oh. Popkin, how do you respond to this? Bogs and marshes are important ecosystems that should be protected. I mean, oh. they're, they're already being endangered. Whoa, excuse me. 
As long as these human landfills remain open for business, what we're essentially saying to the criminal element is, sure, do whatever you like, and throw the evidence here in this federally protected black hole. Okay. I testified before Senator Chuck Grassley, who wanted to lift federal protection uh, uh, on these lands, and what right. I told him is exactly what uh -huh. I'm going to tell you now. And where is Chuck Grassley right now, sir? Uh... Could it be that he's sitting at the bottom of a bog somewhere? Why else would you be so hot on these wetlands if you aren't a murderer yourself? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want here on this live Saturday edition, 855-450-FREE. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. That's 855-450-3733. With you in the studio tonight, Ian here. And Mark. All right, so uh, of course we'll take your calls about anything. To bring you up to speed, uh, last night there was, in case you weren't tuned in, the last hour of the Friday night edition, and Mark, you were not tuned in because you don't do the Friday show. No, I, I, I take uh, one night a week off, yeah. Sometimes you're listening, but uh, in this case, I don't think you were. So we were talking about the two guys, at least two guys, maybe there were more than two involved, I don't know, but uh, they went into a Chipotle restaurant in Texas, open carrying rifles, and there has been a response uh, to our discussion that we had last night online. I had an email sent to me. Somebody else contacted me on Facebook. And we're actually opening the show with a call so, responding to the discussion that we had last night about that issue. Let me get this clear. This kind of happened, uh, I think, with Starbucks about a year ago. That's correct. And um, w what's Chipotle's rule on in Texas? This particular Chipotle, what's its rule on people? Well, they didn't have a rule, I don't think, at that time. But after this incident stirred up some controversy, Chipotle did address the issue corporate-wide of uh, of open carrying and, and they, they said have... that it's just fine if anybody brings in a long gun or a howitzer or a rolling no, cannon. No, they no, didn't. No, they didn't. They didn't really? Say okay. That. So, we can talk more about what actually happened uh in Texas and I'll I'll read this email or the Facebook messages that we've gotten here, but your calls come first. So, we go to Jared in Michigan via Skype. Hello, Jared. Hello, Ian, Mark. Hey. Um yeah, I wanted to touch briefly on the Texas open carry thing and then quickly on Carla Garrett's thing. But regarding Texas, um, the way the long arm open carry came to be was Texas outlawed carrying pistols in 1876, mm. concealed or openly. In 1995, they revisited that by allowing licensed concealed carry only. Now, m more states have been re-legalizing open carry of pistols. However, Texas has been resistant to it. And people realize, well, what's the big deal? You can openly carry a rifle or a shotgun. So it started out as people doing that to show how stupid the ban on carrying a pistol was. However, as you pointed on uh, on last night's show, that dragging a business into this is not the right way to do it. If you want to do it in a city park or you know city council meeting or, or whatever, fine, I get that. Right. But, uh, it's you not know. your territory. I mean, that's a private property, and it just seems really disrespectful to go in and, and do that, uh, not knowing previously what the business owner's perspective is. It'd be one thing if there was a welcoming business owner who was a part of the yep. you know the open carry movement. Right, who, Gap Tooth Jimmy and his uh, you know roadside nice. roadside bar. He says, uh, "Come on in, bring your long guns," and that's you know that's one thing. Um, yeah. But when you decide you're going to do a chain restaurant um, and drag them into it, Ma making a stand on someone's private property without express permission from that private property owner. Uh, making you know a stand and uh, essentially speaking out, using them as your platform for your right. activism, just it's tacky to the max. I mean, and that's me speaking. I'm fine with you know people going out and smoking pot in public, carrying long guns in public. I don't care if you're in public, if you're at a public park, if you're on the streets. That it doesn't bother me. That to me is the appropriate venue for uh, for a protest like this. Right. And this is one of the first times besides the Starbucks thing that I've ever been against an open carry movement because, you know, over over the years when I've called, I've always been one of the most pro gun people. But I mean, you know, this is just over the top. I mean, dragging in people part of something who don't want to be part of it. I mean, right. if and I own a 
business. I want to make money. And if my customers don't want people having rifles and shotguns, as much as I wouldn't want to ban that, I would because I would be responding to what the market wants. You know? Now, I don't know if Chipotle has banned. I, is my understanding of what happened is that they have made a pronouncement of some sort basically saying, you know, we'd appreciate if you don't bring your uh, long guns in and open carry in our restaurant. I don't, I don't eat at Chipotle anyway, but that being said, um, they did say they don't want any guns of any kind in their oh, restaurant. Did they? So, yeah, okay. I mean, they yep. can clarify that later, but that's what they said. That's according to the— Even uh, even concealed carry, they don't, they don't uh, want. Apparently so. I'm sure they wow. might— backtrack on that a bit but you know they reaped what they sowed and uh you know thanks guys but um as far as the carla garrett thing about the wiretapping and change, now- okay so just to change gears real quick so we uh the carla garrett is she's the president of the free state project another issue that we discussed in detail last night you can go to freekeen.com if you want a good write-up on this but anyway there was a 21 page uh, court decision from the u.s circuit court of appeals first circuit same court as the glick decision a couple years ago that upheld glick and it basically said that you know you have a right to record the police even if it's dark and the police are scared <laughs> so i mean the, the police were essentially arguing that they uh they could have charged her with wiretapping because they were scared and it was dark and the court didn't accept that and the court also didn't accept them asking for what's called qualified immunity where they as bureaucrats basically are cut a, uh, a break and uh, you know from making mistakes because the court said you should have known Carla Garrick by recording video of you was exercising her first amendment rights and by stepping on those by charging her with wiretapping you oppressed her rights and so the court made a very good ruling in that case and, uh, and that's what you're addressing go ahead right now this might be the tipping point on this matter because once a cop is faced with being held liable on a personal level that's when Mm -hmm. things start to hit home and i think you're going to see a slow tipping point here with this at least in the first circuit however i wanted to touch upon what losing qualified immunity really means you know um they can the city of Ware could still back them if they want there's nothing from my understanding that carla could do to say no i want to sue them personally the city could come out and say well we really didn't train them on this so it's our fault they do reserve the right to substitute the people in their individual capacity however they don't have to so what the court basically said is that if they want to hang them out to dry the city can that they acted Mm. on their own outside policy now most cops carry insurance like there's rights insurance there's many others the departments carry the insurance not the individual officers right individual officers can also really but can happen is if you start to become a hazard to them or a liability they'll they're cancel your to... policy or raise right. the rates so it, it, the, the the wheels of progress are going to still move at a snail's pace unfortunately they always now, do this is one of the most important tipping points because once you realize oh my god i could lose my house or i could you know then that's when it's not oh well you can beat the rap but you can't beat the ride i think at right. least in the first circuit these days are gone and uh we'll see what happens and yeah that's this all. is this is an important ruling in the area of videotaping uh, government officials and law enforcement officers specifically because what this does is this turns the it turns the gun of government back around on uh, the law enforcement, which traditionally doesn't have to worry about it very often. Mostly, the union and the and the the municipality and and their insurance companies will protect them from liability for their own actions, unlike all the rest of us but in this case the liability is at least there and so it you know they have the same but what you're they saying have the same is concerns we all do what you're saying is jared that even though they don't they have not been granted in fact they've been pro- prohibited from having qualified immunity at this point even though that's the case you're saying the city or the town of weir new hampshire can go ahead and just step or where of uh, new hampshire can just go ahead and step in in their stead and just absorb all of the legal ramifications of what if they're found guilty that is correct at least wow. for the federal government and many states i'm not sure how new hampshire is specifically but this is a federal case right so um this would be the, fe- the i can tell you how new hampshire is specifically it's cheap it's skin flinty cheap and i suspect that if they have well, the opportunity to offload liability um in the town of where their guys under the, the bus i you know this would be the It'd be the last group of people I'd expect them to throw under the, throw under the bus, but having been to many, uh, many a town meeting at this point, I kind of wonder. Your, what's your prediction, Jared? I mean, uh, you think they're going to throw the town of Ware? They're going to throw their cops under the bus on this one? I don't know. Uh, predict what the next Powerball numbers are. <laughs> <laughs>
that being that being said though, Ian, the even if they do cover for them, which if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. Yeah. How many? They're not going to keep on doing it. I mean. It, it, it's going to come to a point to where it's like, no, you, you can't do that. So it's they true. might they very well could cover them. but And there's like at I, least one other suit, uh, as I understand it. Uh, biker Bill Alleman, who's another Free State Project participant, he's also suing the Ware Police Department in New Hampshire. And I believe they're under some similar circumstances. So uh, he's very happy about this ruling. Jared, thanks for your call and thoughts uh, tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Whether you want to talk about the guys in Texas in the Chipotle restaurant open carrying there's a lot more to say on that or qualified immunity government bureaucrats suing them you take control here on free talk live gold bond presents shaquille o'neal so i'm hanging out with my gold bond buddies and they're like shack shack great job with the gold bond powder spray people love it so i'm soaking in the good vibes kicking off my shoes next thing i know they're coming out with a new foot powder spray boom Shack strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body. And new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like Toka Djembe drums for only 19 bucks, or Squire Stratocaster electric guitars for only 89 bucks, or a digital reference mic for just 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Talk Live. We have been brought forward to bring out the truth. I knew this was All true. right, what is the truth? It. No, it's in the two books. <laughs> oh, you've got to buy the books. Now, how much is somebody going to have to pay for these books? It's right online, depending on what country you're in. They're $26 a piece here in the United States, including freight. Now, why would, uh, why would God put books out and require people to pay for them. What, what's the point in that? I mean, aren't there people out there that, you know, Those can't afford that? Those of us that? here on Earth have had to put the material together and get it copyrighted and available. Why would God want to copyright something? What's the point of that? I mean, w- wouldn't God want... Anything on this planet has to be copyrighted to be put out legally. By That's your not true. Not true at all. Not planet. true, sir. Nope. You can put Will whatever you, you want out there. Explain? No, you let me explain because uh, whatever you want, you can put online and nobody's going to tell you you can't do it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition of the program. You're welcome to call in. Tell us how you feel about the Texas open carry advocates, activists, uh, these folks that have stirred up national level controversy by going into a Chipotle restaurant in the most recent iteration of this and uh, open carrying rifles. Not just open carrying, like slinging a rifle to one's back. That seems to me to be the kind of the standard way. If you're going to open carry something, uh, not having it in your hands would be a good thing, right? These guys actually had the rifle. One of them was actually brandishing the rifle. He didn't have his finger in the trigger slot or anything like that. That's true. He did have good trigger, what is it, etiquette? The trigger I guess. etiquette, I guess. I can't remember. Uh, you know, um, he, had, he did have his, his finger fully outside of the trigger, which awesome. is a safe way to carry a, a rifle. But it looks for all the world like, you know, in moments, I'm going to start capping bad guys. And you have this gun at the ready. I mean, that's an at the ready kind of position. You're prepared for battle in that particular case. And, you know, I like I'm OK with people walking with long guns down the street slung over their back. As am I. If you want to go hunting and you don't have a car, then how is it that you're going to be able to do that if you're say in, in you know some kind of municipality? Well, I think that. You know, people who live in a municipality, they have a right to hunt, too, so they should be able to walk with a long, you know, rifle down, uh, slung over their back. Certainly. It's an entirely different thing about slinging it around front, where you've got it, you know, like soldiers carry it. Exactly. So you're welcome to share your thoughts on this. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Last night, I did post a link to one of the pictures of these characters and I will repost that on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, so you can have some idea of, you know, what exactly we're talking about. But just to just to recap it for you, the picture is of two guys, um, and I, it was interesting listening to Derek J when he was talking about this on his show, Peace News Now, this week, kind of looking at the clothing that these guys are wearing as well. Like, you know, they're not even really dressed well for the occasion either. So there, there's like nothing in their corner whatsoever. They really have nothing going for them at all in this particular protest. Uh, you know, they're, they're dressed sloppy, they're brandishing uh, rifles, and they just think they just think it's hilarious. They just think it's fun and that uh, they're doing good activism when what they're doing is they're alienating people and they're using private property as their activism platform. And to me, as an activist, this isn't, you know, Ian's a talk show host with an opinion. No, I'm an activist. I go out, I've done civil disobedience, I've been arrested seven times or something like that. I actually had to count them up. The other day when I was being interviewed by All somebody. for civil disobedience. Um, for well, the most part. Largely. For the most part. Uh, so civil disobedience slash non-cooperation. So I've, you know, I've got some experience in this area, as do a number of the other people who love the ideas of liberty, who are moving to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Our friend Derek J. Freeman will be coming back here into the Shire tonight. He's on his way back as we speak. Very excited about that. Uh, would like to invite him to come back on the show when, uh, when he gets a chance. I know he's going to want to decompress when he gets here tonight, so maybe we're hoping Monday night. For Derek J. here on Free Talk Live, go to freestateproject.org to learn about a movement of people who not only care about gun rights, but your right to have whatever you want to have, so long as you're not hurting anybody else. Your right to do what you want, to live your life how you want, so long as you don't harm others. That's what freedom's about. And it's also about respecting others, respecting the rights of others, being responsible, and respecting private property rights specifically, and, and the people... Uh, you know, going to a different place that's not your property, you do as the property owner asks, or you don't go to that place. Uh, so go to freestateproject.org to learn more about that and join us coming up this summer in about a month. We're uh, about four weeks out at this point for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's a great opportunity. And you want to talk about an open carry event? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is probably one of the preeminent uh, open carry events. There literally has been a man with a rifle strap, at least one, maybe more than one over the years, a guy with an actual rifle, like a machine gun looking thing strapped to his back at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. There's been a dude with a sword walking around strapped to his back. Plenty of people with sidearms. Big Claymore. Uh, pl yeah, right. Plenty of people with uh, pistols on their waist. So open carry, it's all over the place at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. In, and of course, concealed carry, probably even more popular. At Porkfest. It's not just a gun rights event. There's plenty of uh, open cannabis use as well. There are lots of family activities as well. It's not just like a big party. It certainly is a big party. There's a Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party and more, but it's a blast. 
whatever your persuasion, your interest, as long as it's freedom, you're going to have a good time at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So go to porkfest.com, get registered. You can get the tickets by the end of the month online. Uh, after the end of the month, you'll have to actually get them in person at the event. So I received on Facebook, Mark, regarding this conversation that we've been having over the last couple of days uh, about the open carry thing in the Chipotle, a message from Warren Drowen. And he is an open carry activist in the Northwest. And I, right. I came across an article about him a few years ago. And, you know, he, he did like a really courageous open carry thing where he was walking down the street open carrying. I don't know. He had some sort of Uzi or something like that. I don't remember what it was. But he had something. And the cops stopped him and harassed him. Completely unnecessarily, completely, you know, total out of line police stopping somebody because they had a gun. Right. Just because they know they can even though he was completely legally open carrying and it was legal, I think he's in Washington state to do that. They gave him some trouble. And I remember, you know, just patting him on the back and saying, Hey, that was awesome. You know, we need more people like you here in New Hampshire. So he messages me out of the blue. It's probably been, you know, two years since I've talked to him. And he says, Ian, why are you insulting peaceful people that are uh, bearing arms into private establishments? There is nothing wrong with that. If the private establishment asks them to leave, they will leave. Because they as well respect property rights. Even I bear arms into private establishments, which at times I bear my rifle. Well, I don't know um, about the situations that uh, Mr. Drewen's uh, referring to, but in this one, it seems foreseeable, right? Um, this is in Texas. There's two guys that there's a picture of here on the Internet. Um, You know, they're just dressed like ordinary guys one of them's kind of got a camo hat but whatever the other guy you know one of them's they're both carrying their their what look like uh, bushmasters maybe um slung over their shoulder to where they can hold them in their hands if they want both of them aren't but one of them is inside a chipotle and you know you're talking about a chain restaurant they're not going to take some kind of firm second amendment stand so this, for all the world, looks – and now we, we find from a caller that uh, Chipotle has said no no guns in the, in the store at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, this had the foreseeable effect, which was Chipotle says no guns at all. These two jackholes walk into a restaurant, a chain restaurant, with what looked like M16s, you know, slung over there, slung out in front of them, and they take some pictures – and then the restaurant says, whoa, which just because we didn't have a rule doesn't mean we want you walking in with machine guns. And so then they make, okay, you want a rule? Here's a rule. Now, nobody with a handgun or concealed carry permit, mm. um, open carry handgun on the side, nobody can carry so much as a bullet into the store because that's our new rule. And these guys, as far as I'm concerned, it's their fault. So you're welcome to share your thoughts. The toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. I will post this picture on our Facebook, Google+, Twitter. You'll be able to take a look at this if you haven't yet seen this. Wondering how you feel about it. I've also got an email from somebody who's upset at uh, the conversation we've been having about this. And another comment from Facebook. Your thoughts certainly welcome here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Look, I support open carry. I like the idea of exercising your rights. You just shouldn't be doing it on somebody's private property without asking permission first, in my opinion, to, you know, stir S up like this. This is Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. 
Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a hmm? license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, well, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town of Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to see, think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. <laughs> This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition, and we are talking about the gun controversy. Open carry in Texas. Uh, some guys have been going into at least one Chipotle restaurant and open carrying rifles. Not just open carrying, but open brandishing. I mean, I, I think brandish is the right word. Maybe brandish has a connotation of uh, menacing. I, I, I don't know if... Is brandishing the same as menacing? I don't think so. I think menacing is like the next level. Like menacing is where you're actually actively threatening somebody with a with a gun that's being brandished. I think, whereas a brandishing, I believe, is wave just flourish to brandish um, as a threat or in anger or this is excitement. The definition of brandish. Yeah. Okay. Some will certainly see this as a threat, right? Like there are a lot of people who. When you see someone, well, yeah, there's people that, that view. <laughs> you, I the, the problem with a threat is is it's all it's all about perception. Yeah. Well, let's get back into that here, and of course, take your calls and thoughts. You can also bring up anything that you want. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. But you need to know how to get a free pound of some of the best coffee in the world. Yeah, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can get a free pound of Buzzbox coffee. It's uh, shade grown, one hundred percent organic. Top 1% grade Arabica beans. These aren't just Arabica beans, but they're the top 1% of Arabica beans. It's uh, delicious coffee. You'll taste no coffee that's better than this, in my opinion. But um, what they do differently, what BuzzBox Coffee does differently, is they allow partners like Free Talk Live to offer microloans to, uh, to people around the world, people who are in, you know, 
worse conditions than you and I, if they can get a little micro loan, uh, they're going to be able to change their lives, whether they need a vehicle to for deliveries or a bicycle or sewing machine or a, a little boat, whatever it is that they need. They need a small loan to get it where they are. And we want to be able to help. For every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, when you get the free pound, you'll sign up for a subscription. You can cancel that subscription at any time. But if you continue to get your coffee there, um, you'll be coffee, delivered coffee on a regular basis. You can change what kind of coffee you want to get and how often you get it. And it's a great option. There's only two available for the free pound, but after that, there's lots of different options. And for me, I don't have to think about coffee anymore. It's just delivered to my home, and it's a great, great opportunity. Coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, so I'm trying to find the uh, – we had Jared on uh, earlier, and he's a big open carry guy, but even he is not on board with what these guys did down in Texas, going into a Chipotle, open carrying rifles – um, I was trying to find the – he said that Chipotle had basically said banning guns. I have not seen that, and when I've been looking, I haven't seen that either. It just says that it, they've asked their customers to not bring guns into the restaurant. Yeah. So well, That's a news story that says asked? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. news stories are uh, tradition <laughs> when they say asked. I couldn't find an actual press release from Chipotle. I searched their web domain to see if there was anything regarding guns on there at all. I could not find anything, so all I've got is to go through the media interpretation of whatever statement it was that Chipotle made. If you've got something you can link to us, uh, I sure would appreciate it. And uh, Anyway, so let's continue here. 855 450 free. You can bring up anything that you want. We'll get back into Chipotle in a moment. Pizza Guy is on the line, listening in North Dakota. You're on Free Talk Live. Thanks for taking me on, hey. Ian. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, hey, I wanted to uh, bring up the minimum wage. I had called a couple weeks ago when I had an epiphany, and I really liked the point I made, but Mark wasn't on that night, and so uh, kind of interested to see how you guys would riff on that whole concept I brought up. What was that? Yeah, well, the, the idea that minimum wage is one of the most pro-corporate, pro-big oil uh, things out there. And just kind of how it's funny how the Democrats unwittingly make themselves shills for big oil. Now, why is the America. minimum wage pro corporate? Because you know, if you're for a pro uh, American minimum wage, I mean, I guess it's one thing if you're saying you know the there should be a worldwide minimum wage, but uh, <laughs> that's a pipe dream. Uh, so uh, what you're really doing is saying let's let's raise the wage in America, so then things that are made here that require you know products that require people getting paid less than minimum wage to be in demand here end up being made elsewhere. Yeah, and it's obvious, um, right? Like, um, you know, that if you if something's being manufactured here in the United States, there's a break-even point that financially makes sense for a company to move it elsewhere. I don't know, Bangladesh comes to mind. And, uh, you know, they they obviously they're going to be weighing this at some point or another. If you raise the minimum wage to $50 an hour here in the United States, many companies are going to have to go elsewhere in order to produce their stuff. So uh, what you're saying is obviously true, right? And so when those things are produced elsewhere, they got to get here somehow. <laughs> right? and They're not so using then, sails uh, on those big boats, right? <laughs> right. And so then uh, big, big oil profits. Uh, likewise, you know, the corporations and you know, people find out can afford to pay more. Uh, that's actually true to a point. Uh, corporations are, are way more able to pay somebody $15 an hour than a small mom and pop that's just starting out. It's true. And They're easily sense. able to absorb uh, these new costs by spreading the costs across all of their products. They only may have to raise costs, you know, a cent or two or something like that to make the extra money. I mean, I'm just throwing numbers out there, but they've, they've just got a wider scale of business, and so it's easier for them to absorb those costs. And then when those smaller companies can't afford those workers at minimum wage, uh, they have to let them go, and then the corporations have a larger pool even to choose from. Sure. So they get uh, better quality workers, you know, at a at a at a at a higher price. So it's better for the workers that are employed, right? And then, mm. uh, you know, likewise, and another angle on that is then the people who can't keep employment just go on on on, on, on unemployment until the economy, um, you know, readjusts for them, and then they get a higher wage later. And in the meantime, that unemployment is paid for. Uh, through inflation, which ultimately, as I've uh, pointed out in previous calls, is paid for by foreigners who hold both the currency. 
And so it's 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 great protectionism, and it's great for the for the corporation. It's great for the Federal Reserve, and it's great for big oil. Uh, but who it really sucks for is the Chinese workers who end up having to do the work uh, at a reduced pay because then in, uh, inflation pays for the unemployment while they make it for us, and then big oil sucks up the money. I've got a and little bad for- little blurb here from the theweeklystandard.com, um, quoting another article. It says, however, in response, this is from a poll that was done, in response that raises issues about whether unemployment compensation should be extended or allowed to run out, 82% of those receiving benefits said if their unemployment compensation were to run out prior to their finding a job, they would search harder and wider to find a job. I bet they would. Which is to say... That they are not currently, while they are receiving their compensation, working, searching, hard, searching or wide. hard or wide, apparently, to uh, find a new job. So, I it's not that, look, as far as I'm concerned, people pay insurance for their unemployment benefits, but those unemployment benefits were extended, and that's not really part of the insurance. So, I, I, I think that there's a disincentive here. Well, unemployment, really, I mean, all they're doing is checking to make sure that you're not making a certain amount of income. But it has nothing to do with your wealth. I was on unemployment while I was building my house. It was fantastic, right? Because I was able, I was able to accumulate that equity building the house, but I, ha- I had no income. And I was looking for another real job at the same time, so I was fulfilling their needs. But I was also, you know, spending the spare time I had in the unemployment money to create equity. And, and that's not even something they're looking for. So unemployment doesn't really stop people being un- being unemployed doesn't really stop people from working. It just stops them from having income on paper, you know, which is a different issue. But, yeah, we're sidetracked. Right, Pizza yeah. Guy, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So, Economics uh, is such an, uh, an emotional issue, you know, and people feel – uh, they live paycheck paycheck to paycheck, so they often feel really uh, desperate when when a job's lost. And uh, certainly, I've been in the certain same circumstance, but I never got unemployment simply because I didn't feel like filling out their paperwork. So the issue at hand here, and again, you can bring up anything you want. That calls perfect example of that. But the issue that we started the show out is these guys in Texas going into the Chipotle and stirring up some controversy. In fact, I, you know, very rarely get nasty messages from people, but I did get some upset individuals today contacting me. I won't say they were nasty, but you know, they were upset at the perspective that we've taken on the program here so far, and that is that, look, please, open carry. Just be respectful of people's private property rights and don't just jump into their place and have yourself a protest on their private property. More coming up. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. I'm a very bad man, and today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com.
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can take control of the airwaves. You may dial in and bring up whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got a website with all kinds of features like our webcam. You can go and watch and listen to the show uh, all for free at cam.freetalklive.com. Those other talk show hosts, they want to charge you for accessing their sites. We do it free. And you'll probably get more for free than you'll pay for if you pay for those other guys' sites. So go and check it out freetalklive.com. Uh, so let's go to the phones here, continue with you and your thoughts then. More on the Chipotle gun-carrying thing that has blown up na- uh, nationwide. A lot of people are uncomfortable about this whole you know, open-carrying rifles thing, and I get that. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying you shouldn't exercise your rights. And I think that the people who are critiquing me seem to think I was. So we'll get back into the the critics here and what they are upset about. They're, they're, some people are upset at the discussion we've been having about this. And I think that's because they're not really listening to the discussion. They're just hearing someone not agreeing with them 100%. And so that's enough to not pay attention to the words that are actually being spoken. But let's go to first uh, to Michael in New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Michael. Hi, how are you? If you don't Great. mind, I was going to divert for just a moment. Sure given that the last caller brought up the concept of minimum wage. and Certainly. I, I think that the arguments used against minimum wage are such a red herring. For example, we offload uh, much of our manufacturing to the third world, and it's not because of minimum wage. It's because that much of the things that we do in manufacture if we had an if we have an environmental policy is to make sure that PCBs aren't dumped in the Hudson the way General Electric did about 80 miles north of New York City to make sure that love canals don't exist and ultimately maquilador with children being born with brain stem so there is a way of protecting an American worker. It's a pretty obvious one, and it's the only constitutionally acceptable uh, means of taxation, and that's called tariffs and duties. So we could put the, the crunch the numbers into a big computer and figure out in four seconds that if a Bangladeshi is making 
uh, a sweatshop item, a pair of jeans that true religion that might sell for $200 in a clothing store, and the worker is getting 23 cents an hour, we tack on $18.50 an hour, $18.50, and we damn well know that it's a highly mechanized process in order to protect the American workers. So we and who would get the $18.50, just to be clear? Well, well, personally, we can figure out that until we agree first that by protecting the American worker and saying that the American worker should have a right to work in the United States, and otherwise, all we're talking about in this idea of libertarianism is a rush to the bottom. And I would believe that as an American president, my job is to first represent you and not uh, Jaime Bangladeshi. How and can I'm not you represent wow. the, the idea that you can represent my anybody? The, well, I mean, it's rep- president of the United nonsense. States. So let's go. Are you an ethnocentrist, sir? Would that describe you? Now, now you're a one worlder. Which one is this? I'm suggesting that an American president is not president of the world yet. He first represents American interests. That's ridiculous. So the idea that the American president represents me. And by the way, you kept saying we are going to do these things. And no, sir, I will not have anything to do with forcing somebody to pay to sell a product somewhere. I think that freedom works. Somebody. Hold on, hold on. You want to line the pockets of bureaucrats with a bunch of money, that $18.50. Well, no, 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 no. You, we just said we can figure out what, we, what happens with that first. But your other no, I'm not interested in joining in with you let's, let's to figure talk, those things right, out. Let's, let's, I'm not interested let's, in threatening my neighbors so with violence, right, sir. So excuse me. So excuse me, don't. Michael. What happens? Okay, let's say that I'm an importer and I want to import some products. What's going to happen if I don't pay your $18 fee? Then you're not going to get in because I'm more concerned about the shoe business that once existed in New York City. So I've got a and ship then, coming in. I'm an no importer. Hold on. Before you go off on a spiel, I've just got some I'm questions for you. So I've got an, a okay. shipment coming in, and I'm not going to pay the $18. And the ship's coming in. What's going to happen? Well, the answer is simple. It's the ship that gets turned back just the way people How is the ship going to get turned back? back? Or, this is a big ship. ship. This is a cargo ship. They've Michael, got, you know what the answer is. Same. People with guns are going to enforce your rules. That's what it comes down to. Well, Look, there's no disagreement that that you and I have much more in common than than we have in disagreement. The only point that I'm trying to make is that back in the 50s, New York State had a shoe industry. Then North Carolina decided that it wasn't going to enforce a minimum wage, so the shoe industry moved to North Carolina. As soon as we opened free trade, the shoe industry left North Carolina, and it went to Bangladesh. So now we have a race to the bottom. If you drive through Elmira, New York, and you've got ads for Longevity and so forth on your show, there are places all through New York and all through the United States that are just complete ghost towns because the jobs have left. Well, look, so ma- United States manufacturing is mo- is manufacturing more than it has ever manufactured before. Let's not whip really? out new uh, red herrings. So the the point is is that here's my question. It's you don't hate you don't hate people from Bangladesh, billion. right? Of course. Not. Then don't you think they should have the opportunity to work themselves out of poverty just the same way that people in this country did? You know that I'm I'm having a hard time figuring out left of center or right of center in this. I don't play that game. If I'm I about freedom. To the nation, if I were reading the nation, then I would expect that type of argument. I would. I'm not a nativist by any sort, but sounds to me like you want to screw have, people around the world by preventing them from selling products no, in the United I States. Wanna, I want to first make sure that the people in the United States... Because you believe, what, people here are better? You think people in the U.S. are better than people around the world? That's amazing, because I feel the people here are better. My concern first is that the people in New York State aren't starving. 
the people in New York State <laughs> are not starving. <laughs> Thanks for the call, well, Michael. Gonna, Ridiculous gonna... call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE if you'd like to share your thoughts on the idea of uh, you know global trade and freedom. Look, uh, people around the but world— But what he's saying is, is true is that when one is elected, uh, an elected official, one is supposed to represent the interests of the people who elected him or whatever the concept is. But let's not forget that they only do that insofar as it serves themselves, and at that point then they cease to do it. Yeah, they're but representing their campaign contributors, not you. What is fair is that two people, and I don't care geographically where they are, should be able to do business with each other. If I wish to, if I live in the United States and I wish to sell a pair of shoes to somebody in Bangladesh, I should be able to do that without a United States bureaucrat or a Bangladeshi bureaucrat telling me whether or not I can or how much money I have to give them and to do it. they're holding a gun on you, essentially. You, you don't see the gun right up front, but when they threaten you, they send you letters saying, hey, Mr. Importer, you owe these tariffs. Uh, we've heard that you've been importing these shoes from Bangladesh, and you owe us these $18 per uh, pair tariffs that our caller wanted to impose. And if the importer ignores those letters, eventually men with suits and likely guns underneath those suits are going to come calling in his office, and they're going to demand that he pay up, and if he doesn't, they're likely going to charge him with some sort of either criminal or civil action and make his life a living hell. That is not freedom. And I don't care about all of your rationale for the violence. You can tell me all kinds of stories about how terrible life is for people in Detroit or New York or wherever these manufacturers, Gary, Indiana, wherever these places are that, you know, they've died due to competition or people leaving or bureaucrats being too bureaucratic and having too many regulations. That's one of the primary reasons why businesses leave the United States manufacturing, because they've been regulated out of business here. It's too expensive to do business here when you can just do the same business somewhere else. Now, his first concern, we never, we never really did address. I think it deserves to be addressed. His first concern was, well, the environment. Right, so later he got on to protecting workers, but first it was the I think it's a valid argument. I mean, the the you know sort of the environmental regulations here in the United States versus uh, Southeast Asia. But you're forgetting something, Mark, and that is that the environmental regulations and the enforcers of those regulations they're on the side of the corporations. You remember the whole spill in the Gulf of Mexico with BP a couple years back? Sure. Uh, they were limited in their li- in their liability by federal law on that to what was it seventy five million for the cleanup? I think that they at some point gave more, but it still was on, nothing on their own voluntary volition. Perhaps they gave well, more, but they were limited in liability by the federal government to literally you know a few million bucks. Eight, they didn't even have to pay for their mistake. Hour two's coming up. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP. 
at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, May 24th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.48 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $519. Antiwar.com reports many of the contents of the IAEA report on Iran were already leaked the day before it came out and the good news of Iran abiding by the P5 plus one interim nuclear deal was expected. There's more to the report however. One of the biggest pieces of the data in the report shows Iran's stockpile of 20% enriched uranium, the highest level they made, has sharply fallen as the nation continues to convert it into fuel for the Tehran research reactor. Though 20% is far short of the level needed for nuclear weapons, it was reportedly pushed by the U.S. as a threat and Iran stopped enriching at that level at the start of the nuclear deal. Only about 40 kilograms are left to be converted to fuel rods, a trivial amount. The Tehran Research Reactor, built by the U.S. in 1967, provides materially all of the medical isotopes in Iran. The aging facility will eventually be replaced with a modern one using unenriched uranium, but in the meantime, Iran has created what seems to be all of the fuel rods it can use for the conceivable lifespan of the facility. Iran is now only enriching to 3.5%, the level used in the Boucher power plant. Iran is in talks with Russia to build more power plants in the nation, with the deal as many as eight reported to be close. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. McClatchy reports a federal judge blasted the Defense Department for its intransigence, but said she had no choice but to lift a ban on a hunger striking Guantanamo Bay detainee. In a ruling issued Thursday, U.S. District Judge Gladys Kessler said she felt compelled to remove a temporary restraining order that had blocked personnel at Guantanamo from feeding Mohammed Abu Wael Dihab through his nostrils. Kessler wrote in a three-page decision, Thanks to the intransigence of the Defense Department, Mr. Dehab may well suffer unnecessary pain from certain feeding practices and forcible cell extractions. However, the court simply could not let Mr. Dehab die. On Wednesday, Kessler ordered the government to turn over 34 videotapes showing Dehab's forcible extraction from his Guantanamo cell and his forced feedings in a restraint chair. The Wednesday hearing included a lengthy bench conference. Some of those details Kessler revealed in her ruling. She wrote, Mr. DeHob's physical condition was swiftly deteriorating in large part because he was refusing food and or water. According to DeHob's attorney, who had been provided by the human rights organization Reprieve, DeHob had been forcibly removed from his cell on average of three times a week over the past year for forced feedings. Guantanamo authorities deploy a forcible cell extraction team in riot gear to remove him, and during the feeding, guards restrain him while technicians snake tubes through his nostrils and into his stomach. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports Russian President Vladimir Putin says that despite objections about the way the last government ended, his nation will respect the choice of the Ukrainian people in Sunday's presidential election. Speaking at a business conference in St. Petersburg, Putin expressed hope that the next elected government would work with them on stabilization of the region after several months of unrest. Putin was also particularly critical of the U.S. policy toward Ukraine, saying they had backed what amounted to a 
coup d'etat against the last elected government, and were now threatening sanctions unless Russia, in effect, cleaned up the mess they created. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. He f***ed up from the get-go, coming in late on that first line singing totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f*** off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a -game. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the second hour of this live Saturday edition. Plenty of time for you and your calls about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype, by the way. You can Skype on into the show. Our username on Skype is lrn.fm. You do have to send a contact request first. That only takes a moment. It will be approved as soon as we can get around to it, and then it'll be easy for you to call us on Skype from that point forward. Our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. Let's go back into your phone calls and thoughts to bring you up to speed in case you're just tuning in. Main topic of tonight has been the Chipotle ban, alleged ban, on uh, people carrying rifles. Presumably, they're banning everybody from open carrying, although the wording I've seen is not actually a straight-up ban. It sort of dances around a straight-up ban, and I did find uh, an excerpt from their statement. This is from the LA Times. Just give you this real quick here. Uh, so, recently, participants from an open carry demonstration in Texas brought guns into one of our restaurants. This is an actual quote I'm from listening. Chipotle's press release, uh, causing many of our customers anxiety and discomfort. Because of this, we are respectfully asking that customers not bring guns into our restaurant unless they are authorized law enforcement personnel. So mm. they're respectfully asking. Now, that doesn't sound like a straight up ban to me, but it does sound like they would prefer you not. And if you're concealing, then they wouldn't know if you are or not. So if you're doing concealed carry, I would say you could continue to likely conceal and you would not be violating any sort of prohibition. They're just asking. Let's go to your calls and thoughts here. We'll also talk more about why these guys in Texas are wrong, and I say that as a supporter of open carry. We'll go to the phones first, though. Let's talk to Wolf. He's in Montana listening to KMMS. Hey, Wolf. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for taking my call. Welcome. Um, first off, I just I want to... To say that I open carry everywhere, Great. McDonald's, local restaurants, gro grocery stores, but there are several stores like certain banks. Now, you understand in Montana, you can open carry in a bank. It's not illegal or unlawful. I believe New that's Hampshire, true in New Hampshire as well. New Hampshire, too. As a matter of yeah. fact, you can go to the state house with a uh, um, gun on your hip and, and go in and watch I, the legislators do their thing there. Right. And, and see, the thing is, is that several banks will say no firearms, and that is where the respect has to come from both sides of the, the fence. The, the person who doesn't want you in their business with firearms needs to inform you, and you have the choice of disarming yourself or going and spending your money elsewhere. Indeed. Yeah. That, is free, and that is free market capitalism that will drive freedom everywhere. If a place says, I don't want you to open carry, that tells me they don't want my business, and I won't be there. I'll spend my money elsewhere. Now, I don't think you should have to as an open carrier. And you're are you open carrying a pistol? Yes. Okay. As or, a, as an you know, open during during hunting season if I don't want to leave my rifle in my truck, yep. I carry my rifle. Do you carry the rifle oh, in your ahead. hands or do you strap it to your back? Oh, no. Over the shoulder. Let's right. let's be respectful. Anybody walking in the door with with arms in hand is 
that is menacing. That is a, an immediate attention getter. I don't care where you are. Absolutely. And I don't care over if over your shoulder. Yeah. Right. And I Go don't ahead. care I'm if sorry. these guys walked into the Chipotle with the <clears throat> rifle slung on their shoulder and then put them in their hands. The picture was taken with these guys with the guns in one of them it had a, is was brandishing a firearm. The other one was sort of resting his well, arms on top of his. So clearly they're yeah, out of line. You know, that, you know I, something else. Is. Go ahead, Wolf. No, that, that is out of line. I mean, because unless they were taking them off to sit them beside them at the seat while they were purchasing stuff at the at the, the place. But no, I mean, it's stupid to brandish. You only you you only draw a firearm when you intend to use it. Right. Period. And that so, should be the rule. Let me ask you this. Um, what makes you sure. carry long, uh, long guns into uh, establishments like that? What, what, what's your thought well, on that? Well, my, my reason is my back door doesn't lock on my truck. And it would be irresponsible of me if I'm hunting to leave a rifle laying in the back seat of my truck so somebody could open it and take it and then use it in a – potentially use it in a crime. I mean, if they're going to steal it, they're going to do. They're going to steal it. But if I'm out hunting and it's cold and I've gone into a restaurant to eat or to a gas station, I'm not going to leave it where somebody, particularly a youth, could come into my vehicle and take the weapon. That would be irresponsible of me. If Sounds I could good to avoid me. that. And yep. The difference and, between what you do, Wolf, and what these guys did was they made this private property, this Chipotle restaurant, they made that their activism location, whereas you were just going about your normal daily business. You were just going you know, in to eat something while you were out hunting, you had your rifle with you, or mostly it's you're just open yeah. carrying a pistol. So you're just going about, you didn't do anything special. These guys made a point of going down to this business, going in there with rifles, having a photo op, so they can then brag about, hey, we care open carried into Chipotle. Ha ha, we've taken this territory and no, they didn't that's, no they that's didn't what gives open carry a bad name yep it sure People does who act irresponsibly you know Th thank but you anyway, Wolf. I, mean, I appreciate your call i appreciate the thoughts tonight the toll-free number is 855 450 free we've got mike in washington you're on free talk live mike mike yes, in washington sir. hey you're on the air Hello. go We're ahead open carry state uh, I, I I like to see people that you don't see them often, but I think it's a good deterrent that uh, you know bad guys running around here and there in the store, and they they say and they look at that guy and they say, whoa, yeah. you know. I think it is a good deterrent. He, he's got heat stepped on, and it makes them think, you know. Uh, the next time they think about breaking into a house or something, uh, there are people out here with firearms. And they're ready to protect themselves. I got a, <clears throat> I got my permit and I carry, but not open. Well, not only is and, it, uh, uh, not only is it a good deterrent for criminals, but it's also a good thing for people to open carry to acclimate people to seeing guns, to acclimate them to seeing guns. And thanks, Mike, for the call. To acclimate them to seeing guns on regular people. Because people are used to seeing them on government agents and right. soldiers. It gives them a godhood st uh, status um, if it's fine. The for, government guys. Yeah. Right. Why is it okay for a police officer to carry a gun openly, but it's not okay for anybody else to do it? Well, it's because they are something special. They've got a special hat, and then they can do what they want. Um uh, you know, I mean, th this this just is it, it, this is the the deifying of of government officials. So your uh, calls and thoughts are welcome here. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Look, I'm not against open carrying. I fully support open carrying. I don't do it personally. I'm not in you know a gun guy, but uh, I fully support it. I've been behind my friends who've done it uh, before, but they've all done it in public. They've all done it in public places as they're walking down the road. By public, you mean publicly or, owned. Or at a park or something like that. Yeah, I mean open to everybody, not privately owned. Like government, public. Well, I've seen people, um, for instance, open carrying pistols at uh, local restaurants here. Now, that's... The, again, I'm not talking about going about your normal business. I think that's the way you should be open carrying, is just you're doing your thing, as you go about your day, you're going to the bank, you're going to a restaurant, you're going to work, wherever it is you're going, you're going to pick up something at the, you know, the mailbox store, etc. Yeah, just open carry. That's part of your natural thing. These are people who aren't going into businesses 
to make a point, which is what the guys in the Chipotle did. They went down there for a photo op so they could thumb their nose at you know the gun control lobby or something like that. Ah, <laughs> look at what we've done. And that's what I don't support. I don't support using someone's private so- property as your platform, as your stage to do something. Let me give you an example that's different but related. I like video cameras. To me, the camera's the new gun. It's a great way to keep government bureaucrats in check and to make sure that they're held accountable and it keeps an ob- you know an objective record. If I'm going to go in, let's say I'm out on the streets with my activist friends here in Keene, New Hampshire, and uh, you know we're doing some activism and we want to go and get something to eat afterwards. If I've still got my video camera with me at that time and I want to record something in a business, if I let's say I want to do a, a like a post activism interview with somebody. I will go into the business, and I will talk to one of the employees there, manager or whatever, and I'll, I'll say, hey, is it okay if I record video in here? Because that's how you respect somebody's private property rights. I don't just walk through the door rolling a video on somebody's private property and somebody's private business. I think that Google Glass is going to change all that. People are going to be rolling video constantly. Well, I, I find that you know, if you're doing it openly, at least, I find that uh, that's a disrespectful thing uh, to the private property owner. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. 
He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves toll free here. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username is lrn.fm. And you just send a contact request. We'll get you on the air via Skype. And don't forget, freetalklive.com. Dodd Frank, Franny, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, these are, they're killing the mortgage industry. But the Mortgage Minute guy, Roger Schlesinger, has found some ways to around these rules and organizations. Private loan sellers are competing directly against the U.S. government, and things look pretty good. Stated income loans are back. The, these are truly um, less trouble than the traditional mortgages anyway. So state your income, truthfully, obviously, and you get a loan. Rates are great, and it's uh, never been easier to get a loan. If you need a refinance or get cash out, call the Mortgage Minute Guy. Uh, that's at MortgageMinuteGuy.com, 1-866-288-0088. MortgageMinuteGuy.com, 1-866-288-0088. MortgageMinuteGuy.com. So a guy messaged me on Facebook earlier about this issue of open carry and the just ridiculous way that it was done in Texas at the Chipotle. He says, I don't agree with you getting so emotional on these issues and insulting the people for bearing arms. Well, first of all, I, I admit I did, I think, call them tool bags on the show last night, and that is an insult, and I suppose I shouldn't have said that well i think um, that but they are essentially tools of the gun control lobby at this point unwittingly i don't think they intended to be tools of the gun control you're blaming lobby. the victim but uh but i think that that's ultimately what this is because their actions were counter to what they want which they want to you know normalize people having guns they want you people, assume uh, i mean well either that or their agents provocateur who are really on the, the side right. of the gun control i think lobby. this is Bad activism. Yeah. And people who do something boorish enough are liable to get called names for it. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's just, you know, if you do something that the people consider to be dumb, they're liable to call you dumb. Even if you aren't dumb, the thing you did was dumb. But I didn't go after these guys, the, the guys at the Chipotle restaurant with the, the rifles. I didn't go after them for bearing arms. I fully support their right to bear arms in public and on private property where they're welcomed. And if you don't know if you're welcomed in a place, open carrying a rifle. Again, if you're just walking around with your, uh, you know, your, your pistol on your hip, it's your regular everyday thing. I don't think you should have to ask anyone's permission to go into a business. But if you want to go and have yourself a photo op with your rifles in your hands in somebody's private business, then the right thing to do is to go and talk to somebody first. Let's go to Jose, listening in Tallahassee to WVFT. Hey, Jose. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's on your mind tonight? Well, no, I mean, look, um, I'm not a radio host. I, I work in radio, but I'm not a radio host, so I'll do it. They're boneheads, all right? Or at the very least, they did a boneheaded thing. Yeah. Now, all of us have done boneheaded things. Sure. So everybody, you know, relax, put your pants on, take off the skirt, and relax. But what I was going to say is, is it's funny, two things. First, it's funny that they scream about their Second Amendment rights, but they have no respect for private property rights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey. Yeah, and get B, your priorities straight. You know, they, they have rights, too. <laughs> the pro and, the business and, owner, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, part of maturity is realizing that just because you can do something, it doesn't mean you should do something. And, you know, when you do these kind of things, you do, actually, you're helping out Bloomberg. You're helping out the people who want to take the guns away. Yeah, I think that that's really yeah. all that's happened here is is that uh, you know a lot of people got um, scared, and frankly, I, this is so out of place that it might 
bug me too if I were going into a restaurant. Now, look. I think so. I I've, think, listen, I, I carry concealed. And if I saw somebody holding a gun, you I'm, know, that's, <laughs> come on. Right. This guy, you know, this guy is, it, your shoulder. he's so, he's so quick. The way he's holding this is like a soldier holds a, a gun when they're going in, you know, preparing for battle and doing, uh, you know, not, not preparing for battle, but going in and doing uh, home raids and stuff like that in a foreign country. He is simply a swing and a, a, a finger from motion exactly. away from active shooter. From active shooter. Exactly. So, I mean, I think even responsibly, if you were, you know, somewhere and, and you carry concealed and you somebody walk in with a gun or a rifle in their hand, not slung over the shoulder, not in a holster, you know, I think that may give you, as a responsible person, a pause. You may be wondering right. if the place is about to get robbed, as a matter of fact. Right. And I mean, exactly. at, at what point do you... you know, and, and, at and what point, point is at what point do I reach for mine? Right, that that is really the question yeah. here. Is, is I don't know, um, <laughs> you know, if somebody's coming in with a rifle in their hands, um, I mean, it's are insane. you? Thanks, Jose. I appreciate your call and the thoughts tonight. I really do appreciate your call at eight fifty five four fifty free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. So lots of comments on Facebook. I would love to get a chance to share some of them on this photo. But oh, there's gotta, a lot of them. We've got to continue with your calls and thoughts here. The toll-free number is 855-453+. Plus, I've got an email from somebody who is upset at our perspective on this one. And again, look, please, open carry all you want. Just make sure you can do it. It's it, Just make sure you're in a place where they're friendly to it first. This is It's not your responsibility to stake out territory in pe people's private businesses. That's really poor activism. I mean, ask yourself, um, I live in the country. Uh, we have kind of a long driveway. Um, what would it, you know, I mean, people have come up our driveway before to yep. talk to us. What would it be like? What, what kind of reception would, would I, would you expect if you came up my driveway carrying a rifle in like your in, your, in your hands yeah. um I, I don't I, I mean you know <laughs> it's it's gonna put you on edge you shouldn't do that and then the town i live in because you're not you probably won't make it up too many driveways so let's continue you can bring up whatever's on your mind here uh let's go first to carl in atlantic city listening to wpg hey carl gentlemen um i want to compare new hampshire with new jersey with only aliens okay right where I live, uh, I mean, I don't know what the unemployment is, the real unemployment. Is it 15 percent? Is it more? It's really it's hard to say. The unemployment I'm numbers are a bunch of hooey, so it's very difficult to say. Right. Well, see, in New Jersey, these are 2010 census numbers. 6.2% 6 6 of the population, they say, is illegal aliens. And 8.6% of the workforce is illegal aliens in New Jersey. Now, I looked up New Hampshire, and it looks like it's they're 1.2% of your population and 1.6% of your workforce. And uh, and I've heard here for open borders, but see our problem in New Jersey, we're a sanctuary state, and we don't have E-Verify, and they and they get all this free stuff. And I know you're against the free stuff. I've heard you talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm against it, too. But they're getting it. Yep. And they're killing us in New Jersey with well, taxes. I got you. Got. Look, the problem yeah. is is that yeah. if we put out a bowl of cat food every day and then we cry right. and complain that a bunch of cats come around the house to eat the cat food, who's to blame? Right. The us or the cats? Well, the, the in our, in what you're talking about, our government. Because they're allowing them to, to get the free stuff. And I agree with you, we shouldn't, but, but they are. Right, so the answer is to focus on the state and change this, you know, change the system right. to get rid of the welfare programs and let people be taken care of voluntarily by consensual based enterprises, you know, charities and other interest groups. And uh, please send some immigrants up our way. We need some more hard workers. Thank you for the call, Carl. Yeah. I appreciate it. 855-450 free here on Free Talk Live. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. 
Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Coplock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to fill. That's why we're happy to announce the Accountability Through Transparency video contest, the winner of which will receive a pair of Pivothead sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivothead. One, document with a camera a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. 2. Upload your video to your YouTube channel. 3. Fill out the form at coplock.org slash pivothead by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23, 2014. 4. The winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the pivothead sunglasses will be shipped once a mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash pivothead. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition. You can bring up anything that you want here. We've been talking about everything from open carry to immigration to tariffs. I've uh, been all over the place here tonight. Of course, you can bring up whatever's on your mind. You just take control of the airwaves here. It's all free, 855-450-FREE. And join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features on the site. If you care about online privacy, you need to know about Pro XPN. What is it? It's a global virtual private network that allows all of your online data to be encrypted. Uh, whatever's going to your internet service provider, it's encrypted. They don't know. Once you start using ProXPN, your ISP has no clue what you're doing online. Right now, they're probably logging every website you visit, every search term that you enter, and keeping those logs for something up to five years in some cases. You can stop that from happening tonight by going to ProXPN.com FTL. 
You go there, grab the software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, or Android devices. Setup's different for Linux. Just contact their support department. It's pretty easy. ProXPN.com slash FTL. You get the software, you get it installed, and you are encrypted. Now, they actually have a free account. You can just go and try it out, see how it is. The free account is bandwidth limited, however, so if you want unlimited bandwidth, you want the ability to select which server around the world that you connect to, then you need to get the premium account with ProXPN. And we've got a deal for you. 20% off for the lifetime of your account with ProXPN with our discount code FTL20. So you go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, get started. When you're ready for the premium account, you upgrade with user uh, with the code FTL20. And there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. So really, you've got nothing to lose here except your privacy. You get to also privately torrent with that premium account, which is an awesome feature that... It's hard to find at that price uh, price point. So proxpn.com slash FTL, promo code FTL20 for ProXPN. We continue with your calls and thoughts here. Welcome uh, about whatever's on your mind. Michael is in Huntsville listening to WBHP. Hello, Michael. Um, thank you. Well, you just, on that, what you just made the commercial about, you just told me. So <laughs> Okay, ProXPN, yep. Yeah, okay, now here we go. Earlier today on radio, I heard uh, Eric Holder on there, and they had the clip, and he says, he was talking about that Swiss bank you know, over in uh, Switzerland over there with the uh, helping Americans hide money. And he uh, says, there is no bank too big to jail uh, in his usual arrogant way of uh, doing things. And I said, well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> he didn't talk like that during the Wall Street thing where he <laughs> ripped off tens of billions of Americans out here. I didn't hear him say that, you know. Well, sure, uh, American banks must be protected, but those foreign banks, they're bad. Well, in, in, in that case, um, in, in most cases, in, with the Wall Street situation, it was uh, the American people that paid, whereas the uh, government, not so much. In this case, with the Swiss banks, the government feels like they're not getting their money from people who are hiding their money over in Switzerland or whatever. And I would imagine most of uh, those, the rich people in the know, they're not putting their stuff in Switzerland anymore. That's, that's you know, it's Cayman Islands and, you know, other places. It's I haven't even heard How of. about Bitcoin? I mean, if you want to take your money off of the books, so to speak, you want to make it Im impossible to trace it, uh, eventually, you know, if you do the right thing with Bitcoin, there are certain ways to send money in, in virtually anonymous fashions with, with Bitcoin. That'd be a great way to protect yourself, whereas, you know, relying on these banking institutions, uh, you're just asking for trouble eventually. Thanks, Michael, for your call. The toll-free number is 855 450 free. Russ is in Freeport, Florida. Russ, you're on Free Talk Live. Well, um, good evening to Welcome. you. Go ahead with your thoughts. The uh, the uh, uh, now you got me going. <laughs> uh oh. The increase in the minimum wage. I I listen to talk radio a lot, and. The way I see it, the main reason that they want to increase the minimum wage is to have a 25 to 28 percent increase in tax revenue. Revenue. Hmm. I, do you think that's a motivating factor? Because I mean, ultimately, you increase the minimum wage. Yeah, tax revenue is going to go up, but the money's not going to buy as much. So you know, prices well, are likely to go up th as well. That's what I'm. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm on Social Security. Oh, yeah. I'm losing out. Yeah, they're definitely not going to increase the my, amount of Social my Security. My power is going to windward. Yeah, I totally uh, understand where you're coming from because when they increase the minimum wage, your Social Security, if they were to j jack the minimum wage from seven twenty-five to ten ten or whatever it is some are proposing, I mean that's an almost fifty percent increase in the in the minimum wage. They are not going to increase the Social Security payment by fifty percent to compensate for that. Right, and that's one of the things that right. um, that need to be considered with minimum wage. Oftentimes, minimum wage workers are the ones doing business at minimum wage paying mm -hmm. business. So they bear the the brunt of the price increases uh, because that's really you know it, it has to go one way or the other. Um, when you raise the minimum wage, uh, businesses have to cut costs in some manner or another or raise prices. Really, those are the choices. They can lay people off, they can uh, shrink on uh, ingredients or whatever, or they can uh, raise prices. And and ultimately, that's what has to happen. Russ, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Ian in West Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Ian. Hey, you guys did a 
Uh, hey, Ian, you're on the air. Go ahead with your thoughts. All right. Um, well, I, I just had a comment uh, for the uh, the open carry event that you guys were talking about in Texas. Okay. Um, I've read on a couple news websites online that those guys actually did call Chipotle and, uh, and get permission from uh, Chipotle to do that event there. Oh, well, that's, that's new. That's new information. Interesting for me. claim. Now, is it that they called the manager of that store? Is that the idea, or is it well, they just called some you call? cashier? Yes, it was. Uh, they spoke to a manager at just that local Chipotle. It wasn't. You know, they didn't talk to anybody corporate wise. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I agree with you guys that uh, you, if you're going to open carry, you need to do it. Uh, you need to do it uh, uh, in, in a reasonable manner. You know, not shove it in people's faces and stuff. And and I think these guys were were uh, well within that uh, that standard because they you know they called ahead to make sure that the that the company was going to be okay with uh, with I'd the I'd like to see event. the evidence for that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just real quick. Obviously, we're going to have to take your word for it, and I don't see anything real obvious online. I just searched, you know, Chipotle open carry protesters have permission. Um, if somebody can actually get some sort of verifiable evidence for that claim then that would be an interesting detail. Also, I want to know um, specifically what they asked, because if you ask if I, hey, can I open carry in, um, in, in my restaurant, if I had a restaurant, I know what the term open carry means. Um, to me, that would mean having a sidearm that wasn't covered by your jacket. Which, of course, would be illegal in Texas. Would be illegal in Texas. The manager but, may not know that. But indeed. You don't, you know, it's not his, right. He's not a lawyer. Um, in New Hampshire, however, it would be legal. And so to me, I would expect somebody to come in with a gun on their hip, not a gun in their hands. Thanks, yeah, I, Ian. I know, I know what Anything else you want to share tonight? Uh, nope, that's it. Thanks. Appreciate the call, man. 855-450 free. Jimmy is in Tucson. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, hey, how are y'all doing? Jimmy, I have to say, you win the award for best recent caller to the show. Uh, you're consistent. You've got good content uh, with every call, and I hope I'm not blowing you up too much here before we actually get to what you were calling about, but uh, thanks for the the, uh, the creative calls. Go ahead with your thoughts. Well, I hate to let you down, uh, and I know y'all <laughs> probably going to have a y'all probably going to have a show dedicated to the troops, and I just want to say that you guys, no. are, that y'all, y'all are welcome, okay? <laughs> I'm just letting you know that. Just a preemptive you're welcome, huh? So you were in the military, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, I work at a chow hall. I made so many hamburgers for the troops. Um, so I support the troops, basically, uh, through food. Mm-hmm. So but, you, I do what I can, all right? And I know y'all like to recognize that. And I appreciate it. And like I said, y'all are welcome. I, I appreciate the hard work you've done since you got out. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jimmy, for hey, the call uh, tonight, man. Uh, Go ahead. You're He's still there. Gone. Go ahead, Jimmy. I just, you, I just want to let y'all know that Jesus said that it was okay that we invaded Iraq. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you checked with him on that. Thanks, Jimmy. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I don't think he's real, but he's entertaining. (laughs) It's a good accent. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. You take control of the airwaves. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. 
great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. A prison reform group issued a disturbing new study this week calling conditions in women's correctional facilities deplorably unsexy. The report contends that women's prisons are bleak, dangerous environments with shockingly few soapy showers and erotically charged pillow fights. According to the Prison Justice Initiative, quote, it's a shame that in today's society we still have jails that don't encourage kittenish girl-on-girl -girl exploration. Prison shouldn't be a hotbed of gang violence and drugs. It should be a steamy Shangri-La where caged nymphets discover the sexuality away from the leering eyes of male society. The investigation revealed living conditions that many are calling cruel and degrading, with not in a fun or kinky way. The study's author argues that incarceration should be about more than just punishment. The purpose of prison isn't just to lock people in a box, forget about them. It's to provide opportunities for naughty girls to play nice with each other. Next up, a team of jock scientists have reportedly thrown the cure for asthma onto the roof of the lab. We'll talk to the nerds struggling to retrieve it. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live! Live Saturday edition of the program. Take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Whether it's immigration, which we could expound upon, we kind of had one call touch on it. There's always more to say on that topic. Or it's perhaps the welfare system, minimum wage has been talked about tonight here, as well as open carry. So you can share your thoughts on whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. With you tonight, by the way, it's Ian here. And Mark. Don't forget, Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. I've totally got Derek J on the brain today. He is on the way back to New Hampshire. He's one of my favorite activists of all time. Now, of course, we're here in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. It is a movement of liberty-minded people, maybe you're one of them, who actually understands what freedom means, who are coming to the same geographic area to get active so we can hopefully achieve more liberty in our lifetime. That's the idea behind the Free State Project. Seems like it's working, too. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence for that. Um, and Derek J. Freeman is somebody who moved here a couple of years ago. Actually, about three years, I think, at this point, was when he moved here initially. He uh, spent a year here in Keene, New Hampshire, and managed to get himself arrested uh, five times in that year-long time frame for a bunch of nonsense, victimless crimes. So uh, he was facing 
I think he faced down hundreds of days. His sentence was actually 540 days in jail. Most of it was suspended, but he did end up spending a couple of months in jail for things like going to court with a video camera, smoking cannabis in the public park, having a dance party, riding his bicycle. Uh, it just was an absolutely ridiculous string of victimless crimes. We turned it into a, an hour and a half long feature length documentary, and you can go and watch it for free at victimlesscrimespree.com. At the very end of the movie, Derek J. leaves New Hampshire. He is uh, he had self-imposed two-year exile because he was on a two-year suspended sentence. And a suspended sentence means that if you get arrested for something else, typically you know misdemeanor or felony, within that two-year the window, falls. they could then bring back the remainder of your, in this case, his 540 days. He would have had about you know 500 days left of that sentence that could have been imposed. So he decided he'd rather cool down, do some other activism projects elsewhere, and he launched his Peace News Now which you can go to peacenewsnow.com and check that out. So he's been busy. Even though he hasn't been in New Hampshire, he's been busy. I know he's excited to come back, and a lot of other people are excited to, that he's coming back because he was an inspiration for a number of people who've moved here since his move. A lot of people saw what he was doing and were inspired by him and decided they wanted to come to New Hampshire to be a part of the Free State Project. And that doesn't mean that everybody was inspired by him as a civilly disobedient person. Many of the people inspired by him just wanted to come and be around a community of people who can who are include Derek J. Freeman. Uh, many of these folks are politically active, and so really, I'm excited. He's coming back in. He'll probably be here in within the hour, and uh, we'll look forward to having him back on. But anyway, you can check out his movie at victimlesscrimespree.com. Uh, it is free. So we go to uh, Sweden, where Krister is on the line. Krister, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, hello. Um, if anybody, oh, uh, it's about parents and um, you know uh, divorce. Parents and, or tyrants? Separation. I couldn't make that out. No, parents. I'm sorry. You know, a friend of mine. He he's got a uh, child, a boy, and uh, the boy is nine years old. Now his uh, the mother and and he they separated, and the mother actually I don't know how this all began, but uh, he was a perfectly healthy little kid when I saw him at the age of two. And then she took full custody, what, what is it called, uh, f uh, of the child. Mm -hmm. And he started to, the father, my friend, he, he wanted to have more time with him. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to make a really long story, as short as possible here. Thank you. But you have to bear with me. Every one uh, of these stories is really long. Yeah, so um, I, I'm going to cut it down to the most essential parts here. Uh, what, what happened now? Uh, he, the, the boy, uh, he, he was picked up um, on, an, on a weekend. He, he was supposed to have him for 20, uh, 72, uh, let, let me say 20, 48 hours. And um, when, he, when he picked him up, he, he, the boy didn't look that good. And, um, well, the story is the mother ha, ha, had been starting giving him all kinds of medicines, medic um, uh, medications for... Uh, HDHL oh and etc. and so on. But you know, when I when I met him, the boy at two years of age, he was not showing any signs of any problems at all. But you know, I, I believe. Yeah, I believe I believe this is because of um, the welfare system. Because when you are a single, uh, when you are as a parent uh, or the single caretaker of the child. You will receive a lot of welfare. I can't tell you exactly. I think it's two two thousand five hundred per month. Uh, you know, dollars, if you, Ooh. or something like two thousand two thousand five hundred. I'm not sure exactly. It's a lot. And yeah, That's yeah, yeah. So, so she do, she did everything she could not to let the to split fifty fifty, because at the mo very moment they split fifty fifty. Uh, she's going to lose all that uh, income, you know, passive income. If you so want what's to, she if, splitting 50-50, the, the check she gets? No, she's uh, not splitting. No, she keeps every oh, she penny. So she, she doesn't want so splitting, she doesn't custody. Custody. splitting custody. Splitting custody 50-50? 50-50. So she's trying to keep it by all means up to more than 50% for her, her part, her mm -hmm. share. And um, including, you know, I, it's... Terrible to say because it's a allegation, a accusation actually, that she's trying to medicate this boy of her own, her own flesh and blood, to to be um, so that she will have a reason, the, the social um, 
authorities will say that oh you have to uh, keep uh, you need absolutely to have uh, more than 50 percent uh, custody because uh, the boy is really in um, need of his medication and he needs to have well everything that goes uh Motive around. is difficult to prove, um, but I mean, you know, that you know, we can't we can't say for sure. But but money is for sure a factor when it comes to some some people. Absolutely, you know? I mean, it's a shame that somebody would use a child as a tool uh, for yeah. their income purposes. That that to them is one of the the reasons they have the child. Custody is really interesting. I mean, sort of at uh, the. The, the law tries to be as fair as it can while sort of acknowledging what has always uh, you know, been the truth, which is the child belongs to the woman. Um, and yeah. it's, it's, that's evolutionarily sort of what the case has been. And, um, but at the same time, you've got to get the guy to pay, so you have to sort of pretend like you believe that he has some level of custody and then not really acknowledge that custody. It's a really confusing mess. And it is. you know, being a male that has a child, I know that it's not gonna, it wouldn't it would not be fun at all if my wife decided, "Yeah, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going elsewhere." Mm. Mm. Well, so what happened when he picked up the child um, recently? He 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 saw the kid wasn't looking too well, and he asked him, you know, how are you feeling, and so on, and and it um, came out that he he was actually having suicidal thoughts. How old is the child? I'm so, sorry, I missed that point. Nine nine, nine. years now. He's nine years. Yeah. Okay. A, a nine year old uh, having suicidal thoughts. Wow. That's frightening. Yeah. Yeah, that is frightening. So what, he 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 panicked, and so what he knew he couldn't do because. He, as a father who did not have any custody, could not go to the Swedish doctor and say, "Could you please check on my kid because he's having?" So you know, you can ask him for yourself. You know, uh, but so because he doesn't have the right to do so. Mm. Only the mother can take him to the doctor. Mm. And so what he did was he actually took a ferry overseas to the neighboring uh, country here, uh, Lithuania. And it's a European Union country that was as well. And he took it, took the kid to a doctor, asked him, "Could you please check on my kid and and see, you know, um, what's up with him?" And uh, the doctor said, "Yeah, he's uh, obviously uh, having uh, side effects from the drugs, and the oh, drugs man. do contain um, uh, amphetamine or sub substances like amphetamine yep. and uh, or LSD or I, I can't say for sure, but you know, it is amphetamine. Very probably heavy. It's, he's probably on Adderall or something like that. You know, it's heavy stuff. Yeah. And uh, so he asked for advice, and he said, "Okay, give him two weeks to recover. You know, uh, cold turkey, no, no more m medicines, and come back, and we'll have a look." And he came back, and um, the kid was perfectly okay. And now I, I spoke to him myself on Skype, and uh, you know he's the kid. They got him, him off the medication. Yes, yes, yes. He doesn't need any, and he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't have any signs or. How did, he, I'm he sorry, I missed the point. How did he get him off medication when it's his, when it's his wife's? Yeah, cold, thing. cold turkey. He just uh, took oh. him off it. So, and, but but uh, how did he get to convince the wife to take him off? Because he couldn't. No, he didn't convince her. He just took the kid, went overseas so, to Lithuania. So we would call and, that kidnapping here. So wait, he didn't bring the kid. He didn't bring the child. According to the law, just, yeah. just to clarify, then he went to Lithuania and didn't come back with his child. No, because he's uh, afraid that the mother will put him on the medication again. Right. So the kid's still in Lithu Lithuania then. Yes, and he, you got to do what you, you got to do for your loved ones, man. Thanks for the call, Whoa. Krista. I appreciate okay. hearing from you. That's really ballsy. Uh, 855 450 freeze the toll free number. Hour number three is on the way. You can take control of the airwaves here and bring up whatever's on your mind. You can share your story here on Free Talk Live's live Saturday show. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. TCU's an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. 
But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,289, silver opened at $19.32, and Bitcoin is trading at $546.09. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com or call them up at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online, affordablesound.com, or give them a call at 512-459-5253. In the news, nearly every phone call in Afghanistan, domestic and international, is being recorded by the NSA. That's revealed by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who decided to name Afghanistan as the country that other media outlets had previously referred to only as Country X. According to Russia Today, the redaction of the name had come at the request of the U.S. government. The U.S. House of Representatives has voted 303 to 221 to pass a bill designed to end the NSA's bulk data collection of domestic phone records. The USA Freedom Act aims to reform the NSA in response to revelations by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden. Under the new bill, the NSA would have to limit its data collection to specific terms. However, critics worry that the bill has been watered down. Civil liberty and privacy advocates fear that last-minute changes to the bill's language will allow the NSA to continue to collect Americans' information. On Tuesday, the Obama administration announced the release of classified memos dealing with the targeted drone assassination of American citizen Anwar al awlaki Solicitor General Donald V. Verrill Jr. decided not to appeal a recent court decision requiring the release of the documents under the Freedom of Information Act. The memos, written by Harvard Law Professor David J. Barron, will be reviewed and redacted before being open to the public. The lawsuit was brought forth by the New York Times and the American Civil Liberties Union. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. And support comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action and join for free to gain community support and protection. Online at accountableauthority.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. As public resistance grows, Ireland's Health Review Board has decided to launch a review of water fluoridation. The Health Review Board will examine the latest national and international studies before deciding the safety and effectiveness of the practice. Ireland's expert body on fluorides and health warns that ending fluoridation would lead to serious health consequences. Ireland has seen a surge in anti-fluoride campaigns around the country particularly the Fluoride Freetown movement, which has been successful in converting businesses to fluoride-free status by offering reverse osmosis-filtered water. Following a botched Oklahoma execution in April, 
and the debate raging over the use of lethal injection drugs that played a role in the incident, the state of Tennessee has decided on an alternative, bring back the electric chair. CNN reports that Governor Bill Haslam signed the measure into law Thursday. Currently, eight states allow the use of electrocution for executions, but only if that method is requested by the condemned inmate. Tennessee becomes the first state to make the electric chair mandatory when lethal injection drugs are not available. On Tuesday, a federal judge overturned a 1996 Pennsylvania state law that defined marriage as a union between a man and a woman. Judge John Jones III declared it was time to dump such laws into the ash heap of history. 21 Pennsylvanians launched a lawsuit against the state for the right to marry in the state or have out-of-state marriages recognized. As a wave of judges strike down bans on gay marriages, appeals in at least eight other states are underway. The cases are expected to reach the Supreme Court sometime in the near future. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books, online at BraveNewBookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 23rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. An update now on a legal battle emerging around the Onion News Network's own Jode Kressbeckler. After the shocking story yesterday that a group of assailants attacked Congressman William Cummings, tied him to a horse, and dragged him through a briar patch, some are now saying these statements from Mr. Kressbeckler last week may have incited the attack. boat legging Congressman Cummings ought to be tied to a horse and drug through a briar patch. Mr. Kressbeckler's show is billed as an opinion and entertainment program. Yes, it And is. he even calls himself nothing but a caterwauling old badger, so right. the claim that he would incite people to violence seems pretty far-fetched. He displayed a map of Congressman Cummings' home in relation to the nearest briar patch, told his viewers where to purchase a, quote, good pulling horse, and used a life-size dummy of Congressman Cummings to demonstrate effective knot-tying techniques. Right. You know, I think most reasonable people would see that as simply a rippled political satire. Right. Br briar patch is obviously a metaphor for the prickly political atmosphere in Washington, and drag from a horse means something else. Makes sense to me. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, bring up anything you want here as we launch into the third hour of this live Saturday edition of the program with you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. Join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on the site for free. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. You get to control the content of the website, so the stuff you see there on the front page... Those news items, as you roll down the page, those were submitted by listeners like you. And they may not be news items. It could be a YouTube video that you like or something outrageous in a blog post. Whatever you want to submit, you submit there to the site. And then other listeners like you can vote them up or vote them down with our Reddit-based voting system at freetalklive.com. Now, earlier in the show, we talked about open carry and the guys in the Chipotle, re Chipotle restaurant who were open carrying and just sparked... Major controversy. Chipotle now making a, a statement asking their customers to refrain from carrying guns in the store. And I, again, I support open carry. I think it's a good idea. It can deter people from committing crimes. Like if you live in an area, if you're a criminal and you're living in an area or you're visiting an area where people are open carrying on a regular basis, you're going to think twice and three times about actually committing a robbery or something like that in that I, area. I'd no also doubt. say that I'm not, I'm distinctly not of the opinion that everybody should have a gun on their hip. I don't think this is a good no. idea. You should want to have a gun on your hip. And, and you should be the kind of per well, that's not just it. I think also you should be a person who's good at it. The, you this should is, practice and be takes, responsible. Yeah, sure. the, the responsibility is a huge portion of this. So uh, open carry is a good thing, but it won't stop everyone who's crazy. Uh, and there's a crazy story out of Santa Barbara right now that apparently broke yesterday uh, where a young man who's 22 years old has gone on a shooting rampage. Seven uh, died allegedly at his hand for, uh, with the gunfire in Awful. Santa Barbara. And now there's uh, breaking news today saying that three bodies have been removed from his apartment as well. So the, the, total death, uh, the total death toll in this case may be 
10. Uh, the government agents down there are not confirming whether the seven that they have was including the three bodies in the apartment, but it sounds like there may be as many as 10 dead at this point, and some are uh, in the hospital as well. So, yeah, not good. This guy's nuts. However, um, having more gun ownership, and by the way, this is California, so hardly anybody's walking around armed in California, having more gun ownership on the streets could have lessened the death toll. Like, if somebody gets the jump on you, there's not much you can do about no. it, and right? This is one of the reasons that I'm not that big of a fan of the idea of carrying a weapon is most of the time um, y- you don't have a chance to draw. So, I mean, you're you're carrying for that percentage of a percentage. But somebody could be nearby. It it still, be. it helps to have. So, like, this guy was able to, to shoot to death allegedly seven people. Yep. And... Had he shot to death the first person and someone around saw that happen, you know, this guy's in his car, he's got a BMW, he's shooting out of it, shooting at people. Uh, You see that happening? You're fully within your rights to go ahead and blast the guy, right? That could have put a stop to this killing spree sooner rather than later when he ended up either killing himself or being uh, struck by a police bullet. They, he did re- uh, he did get in a firefight with police officers. He Hard dro- to know whether he killed himself or whether, you know. Right. He drove away from that firefight and at some point crashed his car and they found him dead when they when they got to it. So it was either him who did it to himself or we'll he find caught out later. one. So there's, there's information. People have been digging here. It turns out this guy is actually the son of one of the assistant directors for The Hunger Games. Uh, and they have confirmed that they the family believes Peter Roger is his is the uh, the dad's name. They've confirmed they believe their son was responsible for the shooting rampage. Uh, his name is Elliot Roger. He's 22. He appears to be the lone man behind the Imagine rampage. Imagine how terrible this is for the family too. I mean, obviously the families of the victims. We haven't heard anything about uh, them yet, but I mean. It, Everybody's a victim in this circumstance. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is the confirmed suspect in this case. They said a gunman driving a BMW near the University of Santa Barbara went on a rampage that left seven people dead. They say that the tragedy was obviously the work of a madman. And then we get into the video, which he posted just hours before the shooting to his YouTube channel. Uh, it's about a six-minute long video. I have not, I'm not going to play it on the air at this time. There are some excerpts here from TheBlaze.com that will give you a taste of what this video is like. I did watch some of it prior to the show uh, tonight. You know, it's basically him rambling on about how terrible his life is as, you know, the son of a a director in Hollywood. That's awful. uh, Driving his black BMW. Yeah. God. And the pressure of driving your black BMW while being the son of a director in Hollywood. So the video is, as of earlier tonight, was still up on YouTube. I did download a copy just in case they pull it down. Maybe we will want to play some of it later, but I, I don't know. Anyway, there's some quotes here from the video. Quote, girls gave their affection and sex and love to other men, but never to me, he says in the video. All those girls that I've desired so much, they would have all rejected me and looked down upon me as an inferior man if I ever made a sexual advance towards them while they throw themselves at these obnoxious brutes, Roger adds, then promising violence. Quote, I'll take great pleasure in slaughtering all of you. You will finally see that I am, in truth, the superior one, the true alpha male. Unquote. Yeah. Um... You know, clearly he feels jilted, right? Um, He feels like he's uh, been left out of something. It's not his first video. According to the Blaze.com story here, the 22-year-old had also posted other videos on the Internet previously, lamenting his life as a virgin who has never held hands with the opposite sex. In a video titled, Why Do Girls Hate Me So Much? and uploaded Thursday, Roger speaks into the camera and conveys his sexual frustration, saying, quote, I've been attending college in Santa Barbara for about two and a half years now, and in those two and a half years, I've experienced nothing but loneliness and misery. And my problem is girls, he says in the video. There are so many beautiful girls here, but none of them give me a chance, and I don't know why. I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. It doesn't make sense. Now, I don't know this guy. I've only had a little bit of his videos that I've seen, reading some of the excerpts here. But I'm just going to go out on a limb and say maybe his personality leaves something to be desired. I would also like to know, um, would this have occurred if prostitution were legal? 
That is an excellent question, isn't it? I, I mean, I don't know what he's he says affection, and you know, is he using code words here for I want to ha- I want to have sex, or is he genuinely lonely? I don't know. Good question. There is um, a difference, right? Right. You can't. I mean, I, I I'm sorry. You can have sex with a prostitute and still be lonely. Oh, indeed. Yeah. So your thoughts are certainly welcome here at 855-450 free going on with his quotes here from uh, one of his videos why do girls hate me so much quote I do everything that I can to appear attractive to you I dress nice I'm sophisticated and magnificent whatever that means <laughs> I have a nice car a BMW It well, sounds like he wants them to come chasing after him and I'm you know that's hasn't been my experience in life Well, he says, nicer than 90% of people in my college. Talking about his car. I'm polite, he continues. I'm the ultimate gentleman. Yet, you girls never give me a chance. I don't know why. I put a lot of effort into dressing nice. These sunglasses here, they are $300. Giorgio Armani, you know? There you go. There you go. So, he says he's the ultimate gentleman. He says he's polite. Uh... And this is, by the way, I I hear it over and over again, men complaining that women are out for money. And I have met so few women that are out for money in my life. Mm. I mean, yeah, I I think this is a motivation for people, um, you know, whether you've got a job and stuff like that. But I have not run across too many of these full-on gold diggers. I've had had conversations. I'm not going to say I haven't. But... Really, the conversations that I generally have with women about what their goals in a relationship are come down to I'm looking for somebody who, you know, excites me, makes makes me laugh, um, that I want to be around. You know, those those kind of things, the normal stuff. And the idea, the, this guy was implanted with the idea that you need to be rich to get a woman. Mm-hmm. He's rich. Why doesn't he have a woman? Where, where is the woman delivery system for the rich guys? And he's got a fancy car. He's not an ugly young man or anything like that. I mean, he's from, obviously, the Hollywood world, Did right? he attempt to talk to any of them is what I want to know. Not clear on that. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. As long as YouTube doesn't pull his channel down, you're welcome to spend as much time <laughs> watching his uh, rambling screeds as you'd like. Uh, unlikely. Uh, we'll continue with your calls and thoughts here. You can share how you feel about this. I mean, this guy's going on a shooting rampage because he's 22 and he hasn't gotten laid that's really what this seems to break down to it's horrifying free talk live summer is almost here which means it's time to get out and play and at the guitar center memorial day sale you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store and with deals like your choice of two guitar stands or wall hooks for 10 bucks or two pairs of vader drumsticks for five bucks or three sets of ernie ball electric guitar strings for 10 bucks The only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. He seems an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, May 21st, 2014, gold opened at 1288.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1335.40, 667.70 for a half ounce, or 333.85 for a quarter ounce. That's 1335.40, 667.70, and 333.85. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? 
Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Talk Live, and you can take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Share your thoughts on the psycho shooter in Santa Barbara who apparently went ahead on a mass killing spree, murdering at least seven people, maybe as many as ten. There have been some bodies found in his apartment now, apparently. Mm. Uh, that you know, This is the suspect, the alleged suspect. They found him dead in the car that was uh, apparently involved in the shootings after a police chase and shootout. And now more information, obviously, is coming out about this guy, and uh, he certainly has plenty of it to share, as you'll find out here shortly. We'll continue with some more quotes from his videos where he expresses quite a bit of frustration about his failure to connect with females in his age range. Um, he is 22 years old, a self-described virgin, and apparently that's frustrating enough to him to go on a shooting rampage. He's going to uh, show them that he's an alpha male, is uh, his claim. That is what he says. So we'll continue here. Your call is certainly welcome at 855-450-FREE. Blockchain.com. They are an amazing company. Blockchain.info. It's the same group. Blockchain.info is where you go to get your personal Bitcoin wallet. You can do that right now. Easy. In fact, I was using my blockchain wallet today to send Me out, uh, to send out uh, matching Bitcoin payments to new Free Talk Live amplifiers, which we can talk more about later. But Blockchain's got a great product for your personal wallet. Now they've got the Blockchain.com merchant application. So if you've got a uh, point of sale, you've got a physical location where you want to accept Bitcoin from your customers, just go to blockchain.com and download their app. Put it on your favorite Android device. There are no terms of service, no ID requirements of any kind, and zero fees to use this thing. Blockchain.com. Let's go to Paul in Mississippi. We'll talk more about the shooter in Santa Barbara and some of the things he has to say for himself. He's dead now, by the way. Paul, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I, my thought is there's got to be something deeper with this kid. Uh, you don't go in just the course of a few months and kill a bunch of people. Uh, you don't slip that many cogs at one time. There's got to be some underlying trauma from his childhood, early teen years, or whatever, that caused this kid to have problems. Uh, going down the 
down the road and pass progressive uh, and then on up until where he built yeah, well, we don't know, right? I mean, uh, he, all we know is he's probably been raised in whatever the Hollywood world that he's been living in, that he's living in as a 22-year-old. You know, presumably it's the world he's been inhabiting for most of his life. He drives it. We know that he drive, drove a fancy BMW car and uh, seemed to expect that having these uh, nice trappings was going to be sufficient enough. And being, he claims, a nice guy. I don't know about that. Uh, that, uh, you know, that that should be enough to attract him a mate. And uh, and you're right. We don't know what happened in his past. Maybe there was some sort of an abusive situation going on. And, Paul, thanks for your call and sharing your thoughts tonight. But what, well, you know, also, um, one thing that tends to tends to be the the one thing that glues these together is uh, often the psychotropic drugs. We yeah. don't know what he was taking. We don't know what he should have been taking. And, uh, you know, I've heard from people. Uh, for one, we've you know, 60 minutes to the thing which says these things are t- way over prescribed and it's difficult to say whether or not they cause people to be suicidal or homicidal in this case um, because oftentimes the people who are prescribed these things are suicidal. Mm-hmm. So when suicidal people get more suicidal, it's difficult to really uh, you know blame a drug for it. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of people on these drugs that are doing this stuff. So I want to hear about that, too. Yeah, over time we may learn more about that. What we know right now is what he's said in his YouTube videos that are still available online. You can go and watch them. We'll link, uh, actually linked over to the Blaze article on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You click in there and you'll find a couple of the videos uh, that they're linking to. I would recommend downloading them if you really want to make sure you you know you don't miss out because odds are good YouTube's going to pull his account at some point as they tend to do. Uh, continuing on with some of the things he says in one of his videos, which was posted Thursday, why do girls hate me so much? Six minute long video where he details how he feels when he walks to his classes. He's frustrated earlier in the video about how he thinks he's polite and the uh, so-called ultimate gentleman, but doesn't get a chance by the, uh, the girls at his school. He's we're, he's wearing $300 sunglasses. What more why not take? Mm. Uh, he says, I, he says, quote, I feel so invisible as I walk through my college because none of the girls there pay attention to me. I see so many beautiful blonde hair, just so many beautiful blonde hair girls walk around everywhere in your revealing shorts, your cascading blonde hair, your pretty faces. And I want one for a girlfriend, Roger says, still Mm. looking into the camera. I'm 22 years old, and I've never had a girlfriend. I'm still a virgin. It's frustrating, uh, but, you know, I I suspect there's a personality issue at play here. It has to be. Really, really tough. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 22, but I didn't have a problem with that. Well, thank God you didn't shoot anybody up. Well, yeah, thank goodness most people don't shoot anybody up over this because he's not the only guy with this problem, right? There, he's, there are multitudes of uh, men and women out there, more so men, because it's easier for a woman to have sex with somebody um, in general. But you know, there's plenty of people out there that have this problem. They're awkward. They don't connect well with other people in you know, the opposite sex or other people at all. And uh, they have had no experience whatsoever in dating. And so that makes things even harder, right? You know, if mm. you're 22 years old and you don't, you know, you've never successfully managed to go on a date, that could make getting that first one all the more of a daunting process. So I can understand his frustration, I guess, but certainly not the level of his frustration. Hey, man, enjoy the girls walking around in their short shorts. You know, you don't have to have one of them in your bed to enjoy, you know, the fact that they're there, right? Um, but it's too late now. He's gone on a shooting rampage. Uh, He says he's never had a girlfriend. I'm still a virgin. I've never had the pleasure of having sex with a girl, kissing a girl. I've never even held a girl's hand. Mm. Hell, I don't even have a young girl's phone number in my cell phone. And that's such an injustice because I'm so magnificent. I deserve (laughs) girls much more than all of those slobs that I see at my college. So. Okay, well, uh, first off, this is an entitlement mentality. Mm. Do you hear the I deserve yes. thing? And when you believe that you deserve something, you are going to be outraged when, when you, you don't, don't get, get it. it. And I got to say, I don't think you deserve much. You weren't born deserving Mm-mm. anything. Um yeah, if you, you don't deserve a, it any more than somebody with a beat up old car rather rather than a BMW. Right. You, you've got no agreement with these uh, any of these women, and they have no agreement with you. They owe you nothing. You owe them nothing. 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 So that's the first place to start. 
uh, I mean, I, I, you know, it's sad that this guy isn't getting <laughs> good dating advice, I guess, is really what this guy needed. Or, or, or no, let's not forget the possibility that the government has outlawed prostitution, mm. and this may very well have uh, fixed this situation if uh, he could have gone to some reputable place where people are disease-checked or whatever and, you know, just walked in and laid down his money instead of... Walk, you know, driving out someplace and laying down lead. I really think that's one of the biggest questions here is how would that have changed how this young man feels? I mean, because he still might have the frustration of not being able to get a date, you know, that, that, that having a prostitute wouldn't necessarily satiate that for him. But at the very least, it would satiate whatever sexual energy this guy has that has been building up and he's been frustrated about. And that might cool him down. More coming up. You share your thoughts. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Imagine for a moment... A radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you got to keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. We're talking crazy uh, tonight here. And in, in this case, frustration, uh, sexual frustration, frustration of not being able to connect with somebody of the opposite sex in this case for the young man who is 22 years old or was 22 years old. He's dead now. He went on a sh- what what was described as a shooting rampage. Looks like the numbers are shaking out to um, I mean, it was a shooting rampage, but the some of the dead uh, people include his roommates, which he apparently stabbed to death. So not only did he go on a shooting rampage, he also m- stabbed people to death. I mean, this guy is so cra- it's like so crazy. I actually took a look at his manifesto, which I posted to uh, the Facebook page. It's 140 pages, so I've had you know no time whatsoever to look at this thing. But I just jumped down to the end. We'll share some of the excerpts here. It's very disturbing stuff here in moments. You can get Bitcoins by going to cashintocoins.com. You've probably been hearing about Bitcoins. They've uh, been in the news quite a bit. As a matter of fact, they're getting a little news, a uh, little more news now that they're kind of ramping up, it seems, for another rush. Um, but you can get them at cashintocoins.com. So Bitcoins are an international currency that allow you to send and receive money on the Internet for no money, um, no cost, or virtually no cost, depending on the situation. And they, they're they really going to revolutionize, in my opinion, the whole money transfer system. Because currently, it can be a lot of money to send money around the world in different places. Now you can do it for pennies or less with Bitcoins. So go to cashintocoins.com. The instructions there are clear. It's easy, safe, fast. Completely legal, inexpensive, customer service is their top priority. You can use a money order, a check, or a wire transfer. They make it easy for you over to cashintocoins.com. As a matter of fact, there's no fee at all for orders under $40. They want you to get a little bit of Bitcoin. See what it's like. Possess some for yourself. It's cashintocoins.com. Photos from his Facebook profile are being revealed. Another Blaze story has some, you know, pictures into this young man's life. What was life like for him? Again, he's you know, driving this fancy BMW. He's the son of a second unit director on the Hunger Games. Complaining, complaining how uh, life is so bad for him because uh, yeah, apparently his terrible life included the uh, attending a K- Katy Perry private concert at one point. Uh, he was at the Hunger Games premiere in 2012. He traveled the world in business class. There's a picture of him sitting at a, a very expansive airplane seat. It is very easy to feel entitled uh, when you've had things like this your whole life. As a matter of fact, it's easy to move into entitled, uh, you, you know, at any point. There have been studies on sort of wealthy people, and um, I don't begrudge anybody their money. Uh, I b- might begrudge you the way you got it, but I don't begrudge you your money. It's clear money doesn't buy you happiness. It, it, it doesn't. Um, I, as I understand it, people who are wealthy tend to be a little happier than those that are poor, though. Well, this guy wasn't. Let's go nope. to the phones here. Uh, let's talk to someone who is not willing to give his name in Vermont. You're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I'm uh, calling in with a sensitive topic. That's why I'm not going to give my name. But, right. uh, I'm kind of similar to this uh, person in that uh, I'm a male in my 20s, and I haven't been late either. I'm actually 28. and uh, It definitely takes a toll on your confidence. and. Uh, well, of course, confidence may actually be part of the problem, you know? Yeah, it could very well be. I mean, do you want to tell us a little bit more about your experiences? I mean, have you successfully gone on a date? I mean, this this guy in uh, Santa Barbara, he claims he's never even held hands with another girl. Uh, yeah, I may have done some of that here and there, like summer camps and stuff, but uh, not so much since uh, the high school days. I mean, I've done some traveling around the world and stuff, and mm-hmm. I've noticed that uh, men and women uh, act differently in different countries. Too. Indeed. Uh, I went to Italy, and a lot of the women there were more extroverted, so it's kind of different. I mean, here or even the United States, I mean, northeastern uh, you know, men and women act differently than yep. in California and other places. But, I'd say there's a cultural difference. Obviously, there's uh, some, you know, 
crossover and there's personalities and things like that. But sure, yeah. each each vicinity, um, you know, has its own sort of feel to it. So how does it go for you? I mean, you're 28 years old. When was the last time you were on a date? How did you get the date? Uh, actually, I haven't really done dating. I mean, I might have felt the man that just like a spontaneous, spontaneous moment type of thing. I mean, I've just, I've had a lot of trouble the past few years with mental illness and depression and stuff like that. Yeah, and, uh, it can really, it, it makes and, it difficult. Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to wrap this around to your previous topic about the guns thing and that stuff. And, uh, I mean, I've basically taken on my own responsibility to not own a gun. I mean, if I owned one, I mean, there's a possibility I wouldn't exist anymore. Yeah. Why? Because of so, suicide? Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunately an easy way out if someone has that thing around. And I definitely support other people's rights to own firearms, but if a person thinks they have depression or mental illness, then they might want to relinquish that right from themselves. There's a guy that walks around here in Keene, New Hampshire. I haven't seen him in a couple of years, but that doesn't mean he's not here. Um, he did, he got low one time and uh, decided that he was going, you know, was over a girlfriend uh, or ex-girlfriend at the time or whatever the situation mm -hmm. was, but uh, decided that a 44 Magnum would solve his problems. In fact, what it did was, uh, you know, give him more problems. It, uh, you know, messed up his jaw and his face and that kind of thing, but he didn't kill himself. Wow. And, um, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> it's a, it, it isn't the best solution, I can assure you. So uh, just a yeah. Further explore a little bit here. When I asked you about, you know, dating somebody, you said you haven't been on a date. I mean, have you tried to to acquire a date? Have you, you know, used online dating services, uh, you know, etc. Yeah, I, that, I, sh I should probably try that out. It might help to break the ice a little bit more. I mean, yeah, it definitely would. Putting effort in is the first thing that you've got to do, sure. right? I mean, you, you don't... Uh, it, it, it's easier than it ever has been, too. <laughs> it, it, right. In sales, uh, in, in the sales universe, you know, every no is one no closer to a yes. This is an old sales adage, and it's so true. And the same thing's true with selling yourself, which is really what you're doing, uh, you know, on the, on the meat market or whatever. If you don't ask, you're not going to get. If you don't ask for the sale... You're never gonna, you know, you're never gonna close the sale. And it sounds to me like you haven't yeah. asked, and you haven't even put the feelers out there yet. So, you know, go to OK Cupid oh. tonight and start up an yeah. OK Cupid profile. I mean, number one, that's probably one of the most popular dating websites, and it's completely free. Uh, so, thank you for the call. I wish you the best, and uh, and thanks for not shooting anyone. Really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> thank, thank you. you. Uh, Eight fifty five, four fifty free. Let's go to Joe in Grand Rapids. You're on Free Talk Live. OK Cupid's a great site. It's easy to use, and there's a bunch of people on there. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, I think this is the. Um at least in this particular case, I mean, everybody's got their issues, but the uh, end result of the society where everybody gets a trophy and, you know, no, you can't lose and pe parents give everything to their kids. And mm. When they become adults, they realize, you know, it's, you know, I got the best clothes and the nicest car when I'm 18 years old, but, <laughs> you know, that doesn't help my personality. And they never learned that sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, whether it's sports or women or anything, you know. It does and make you wonder in this case uh, whether this is, um, you know, this entitlement mentality that's obvious in this kid. Um, I mean, you know, oh, yeah. where did it come from? Very, he sounds very bitter. Yeah. And it's like he, I guess it seems like the people he grew up around, it's like he felt like he deserved the blonde-haired, beautiful model yeah, or whatever. That's what but, it sounds like, yep. Yeah. You know, and it's that's part of our... As part of becoming an adult, growing up, you you know you learn that sometimes your team loses, sometimes the girl doesn't like you, sometimes, you know, whatever. And I think that as a culture, we're getting away from that because, you know, apparently, <laughs> you know, everything is free. I guess <laughs> you know that's the way they, the ways people act nowadays. So. Joe, that's thank my you. Opinion. Thank you for sharing your opinion. We do appreciate hearing from you tonight here on Free Talk Live. There's enough time for your call with your thoughts here. We've got this crazed shooter in Santa Barbara. He is dead. Uh, he claims he's a gentleman. He says that he <laughs> stabbed three people and shot seven more. Stabbed his male roommates to death. He shot a couple girls on uh, school campus. Mm. Other people are injured. Seven are dead at this point in total. Uh, and he's he claims because he was lonely. 
But there's more to this guy, and there's a lot more in this 140-page manifesto. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF+, Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Attention, America. Within a little-known government document is devastating information that could cost the United States its most valuable asset. My name is Jeff Opdyke, former reporter for the Wall Street Journal. I've uncovered shocking evidence within the details of document FT-900, revealing the largest cover-up of President Obama's career. This will have a substantial impact on our nation. Millions of Americans will fall into poverty overnight. A recent report from the Treasury Department said an event of this nature has, quote, the potential to be catastrophic. Within a matter of weeks, the way of life for millions of Americans will be destroyed and the standard of living will be like nothing this country has seen in nearly a century. To learn how you can protect yourself and your family from this government attack, visit www.obamasecret1.com. Again, that's www.obamasecret1.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here... I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. You may take control of the airwaves. Bring up whatever's on your mind. Toll free. 855-450-FREE, that's 855 450 3733. We've got Skype, by the way. You can Skype on into the show here tonight by using username lrn.fm. You do have to send a contact request, it will be approved. Free Talk Live is brought to you by the AMP program. Listeners like you getting behind the show for five bucks a month. And by the way, right now, for the next few, next several months, actually, we're doing matching. 
uh, co contributions, meaning that if you become a Free Talk Live amplifier for five bucks a month at amp.freetalklive.com, not only do you get all the great perks that you get as an amplifier, like access to the Amp Only call in lines, the Amp Only brand new Facebook group for Free Talk Live amplifiers, and more, but you also will have your money doubled. So you do five bucks a month, and we've got generous contributors who are going to pony up five bucks as well. So that's ten dollars a month coming into Free Talk Live that we can use to help get on more radio stations around the country. We're now on over 145 radio stations coast to coast and beyond, thanks to listeners like you. And also, it allows us to do radio—not radio advertising, but uh, online advertising—to try to uh, bring in people who are searching for say, talk radio, just something generic like that, just doing a Google search for talk radio, we want them to find Free Talk Live. So we've been doing Google AdWords. So that's, again, something that your five bucks a month goes to. So when you join the AMP program, it's five bucks a month. You get all kinds of perks. We get an extra five bucks from the matching contributors. So if you do ten bucks, we're going to get an extra ten bucks from those matching contributors. And as an added bonus, starting uh, within the last week, we've been offering the Bitcoin matching or I guess Bitcoin refund, I guess if you want to call it that. Bitcoin back. Yeah, Bitcoin uh, back. <laughs> you get Bitcoin back if you want. You send five bucks a month, or send, you send you sign up for the first five bucks, and that five bucks comes back to you in the form of Bitcoin. All you have to do is send me your Bitcoin address when you sign up for the Free Talk Live AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. That's it. You go, you sign up. No, we want you to stay on for more than a month. This just shouldn't be an excuse for you to get some Bitcoin you know, with no... Uh, no transaction cost. Uh, we'd That's not like the intention. You, right. We'd like you to stay behind the show. And, uh, and by the way, there's another additional point that's worth making here, and that is if you are a Free Talk Live Platinum amplifier, you can get the brand new shiny badge with the Free Talk Live logo on it. We've talked about shinybadges.com a lot here on Free Talk Live, and they're really cool, beautiful, high-quality badges. And like you can call it a pin as well if you wanted to. They're very, very nice. We've got the Free Talk Live logo one now. On the back side, it's engraved. Platinum amplifier. We've only got a hundred of these and things. those are the only ones that are going to say that. We've like, only got a hundred, and ten of them are gone already. So uh, if you are a Free Talk Live Platinum amplifier, whether you sign up tonight or you currently are a Platinum or you upgrade to Platinum, just email me your shipping address and we'll get one of these things out to you. They are exclusive, one-time only, there's only 100 of these things, and once they're gone, they're gone for good. So go to amp.freetalklive.com and help us out. We sure do appreciate that. Let's go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Donovan is in North Carolina. We've been talking about the crazed shooter who uh, killed multiple people in the Santa Barbara area, allegedly, and now he himself is dead, all supposedly because he couldn't have sex with anyone. He couldn't even go on a date. He's never held hands with anyone else, he says. Go ahead, uh, Donovan. You're on Free Talk Live. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome. Um, yeah, I um, I went and watched this guy's uh, video during uh, one of the commercial breaks, okay. and I do not think that sexual frustration will lead a man to do this. Um, this guy is clearly a psycho. He has some serious entitlement issues and self-image issues and most likely had a very rough childhood. So that's what I think the issue is here. Well, I wouldn't disagree, um, but I, 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 you know, there have been psych psychiatrists that have sort of positive and and done some studies. It's difficult to know for sure, but that that you know that mental health can go up where for uh, mental health can go down for males that aren't receiving some kind of physical touch. I think it's true sure, for anybody. Sure, I think that makes a lot of sense. But I think I think it's an issue of someone who's already has a lot of psychological oh, yeah. issues and the sexual frustration uh -huh. has enhanced that. Now, what was it that did you see? Did he say something specifically about his childhood that was traumatic? Because there's, by the way, this 140 page manifesto does start with a timeline, age zero to five. So, presumably, somebody who has the time to read through this 140 page might learn a thing or two about some of his childhood experiences. But did he say something in the video about that? Um, I only watched the very last video where he was uh, sitting in his car, rather, rather nice looking car, talking about. Um, how he's going to go on a rampage the next day and get his revenge on mm. on these women for not being attracted to him. And you know, sexual frustration can be uh, a difficult thing to deal with. I've had to deal with it in the past, and uh, it's it's not pleasant. But sexual frustration on its own is not going to lead someone to do this. He's clearly uh, has a he clearly has some other psychological issues. Uh, that played into this. Donovan, thanks for the analysis. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, 
I have linked to this full 140-page manifesto on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. You can dig into this if you want. He's claiming in his videos that he's such a gentleman that he doesn't understand why it is that women are not interested in him. Uh, he's got pretty clothes. He's got $300 sunglasses. He's got a fancy BMW. He's not an ugly young man. He can't understand it. He claims he's such a gentleman, such a nice guy, but yet when you actually look at this, you look at this manifesto, um, I'm just looking at the last couple pages here. Let me give you an, exa an excerpt. Women are like a plague, he says. They don't deserve to have any rights. Their wickedness must be contained in order to prevent future generations from <laughs> falling future to generations. degeneracy. Falling to degeneracy, women Apparently are vicious. Apparently doesn't know how generations occur. Women are vicious, evil, barbaric animals, and they need to be treated as such, he <laughs> says. He goes on to suggest oh that boy. the first strike, he says, against women will be to quarantine all of them in concentration camps. At these camps, the vast majority of the female population will be deliberately starved to death, he says. That would be an efficient and fitting way to kill them all off. I would take great Gosh. pleasure and satisfaction in condemning every single woman on earth to starve to death. I would have an enormous tower built just for myself where I can oversee the entire concentration camp and gleefully watch them all die. Now in it italicized, he says, if I can't have them, no one will. Now well, that'll fix everything, won't it? Let's go to Brian. He's in Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Go ahead, Brian. How are you guys this evening? I was uh, listening a little bit earlier, and I was just curious about these guys who decided that it would be a brilliant idea to walk into a family restaurant brandishing firearms across their chest. I mean, the news media has made a non-assault weapon out to be an assault weapon, and I'm not sure what cause they thought that they were going to advance by that. I don't know either. As a retired, as a retired lieutenant colonel from the Army, I, I now work in the oil and gas industry down here in South Texas, and Firearms are respected and loved. I, I collect firearms like some people might collect toy trains, but you know I, I, I collect them to, to, to hunt, to, to, uh, to entertain myself, to target practice with, but I'm not sure what cause they thought they might advance because I have a permit to carry even here in the state of Texas, and if somebody walked in a restaurant and I'm sitting there and I'm having a nice dinner, walks in there with a AR-15 strapped across his chest, I, mean, I might be the one in jail because I might have been the one to pull my side arm and put a hole in his head. I, mean, I, don't I know wonder about this. I really do. This is, this is my <laughs> biggest concern about this whole situation is, is these guys looked like, for all the world, to me, like a threat. Sure did. Absolutely. I would see that as, I would see a weapon as a man walking into a restaurant where you're sitting there not not a side on, not something you have holstered, not something you have for self protection, but you you bust up in a restaurant where people are trying to have a nice dinner, and you look at the front door, and 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 the waitress is looking at two guys with rifles strapped across their chest. Uh, in the state of Texas, I don't really know. I, I honestly, to God, don't know how they walked out of there in the first place. The fact is, I they mean, had the opposite of their intended effect. They were supposedly, you know, standing up for gun rights and exercising their rights. And I support exercising your right to open carry. I really do. It's just you go into somebody's I private business. You go into someone's private business and you make that your activism stage. You've crossed a line. That's it's totally inappropriate. That's, it's totally inappropriate. I'm a member of the NRA. I. I fully respect gun rights. If you if you if you are legally able to carry a weapon, I believe it is your constitutional right to do so, and I would fully expect that you. Do I believe so. it's your constitutional but right to carry a weapon, even if you're not legally able to. That's true. Hey, Brian, thanks for your call tonight. Well, here, I, well, go ahead. Hey, no worries. No worries. Hey, thanks right. for the no, call, I, dude. I, I really. I, 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 Sorry, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. I understand what he means when he says this. It's like, you know, there's the people that are still legally allowed to carry weapons are probably, you know, right smack dab in the middle of the bell curve. It's the outliers that can't. By the way, uh, back to the manifesto real quick here. Another ex excerpt for you. I mean, there, I'm sure there's all kinds of gems in this. Uh, few women, he says, would be spared. Remember, he wants to eliminate the female population. A few women will be spared for the sake of reproduction, he says. These women will be kept and bred in secret labs. Uh, there, They will be artificially inseminated with sperm samples in order to produce offspring. Their depraved nature Why will do that? <laughs> slowly be bred out of them in time, he says. And you can read the rest of it at your leisure. Oh we'll be back tomorrow night. You can join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And go hug somebody, will you? People need that stuff. It's Free Talk Live.
This. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. Well, this is you ain't going to make Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, May 24th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.48 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $519. Antiwar.com reports, many of the contents of the IAEA report on Iran were already leaked the day before it came out. And the good news of Iran abiding by the P5 plus one interim nuclear deal was expected. There's more to the report.